Yo, hey people of Twitch, McGaines, Mandy, Heretic, Pickle, Dead Dog, and Falsk. You are the elite few who made it before me. Congratulations. Your prize is my admiration and nothing more. Hey, how's it going, folks? Hey, Koala Beer. Hi, Mo. Man, got a sore throat. I was hoping to be better today. It's not. That's what I mean. I talk too much today. The left tonsil really sore. I may just have to be quiet today. We may just uh, sit and look at each other, just stare longingly into one another's eyes. As I play Hearthstone the whole time. Hey, just a normal bookcase. Hey, human PB. Hey, Garari. Oh, speaking of which, uh, apparently I say the word human weird, just like I say the word huge weird. I, I apparently... Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I went and listened to pronunciation guides. I, I just do not understand, apparently, the distinction between huge and human and... <laughs> I just like I just don't hear it. I don't know. A bunch of people gave me crap for saying human weird though, just like I say huge weird. I I don't understand. The the the, the H is silent. Welcome, boys. I just don't get it. Thought I had to set to. I just don't get it. Face palming. It doesn't have an H sound. You don't say human. Like human's name. I don't understand. I listen to pronunciation guides and I still don't hear it. I guess my brain is just <laughs> incapable of understanding. I I don't know. It's a meme at this point. Whatever. McGaines, dude. Two months. Thank you, man. Not auto renewing, I guess, but still awesome of you. Thank you, McGaines. You, Huey, you, he, is that the sound that everybody's mad about? The Huey Lewis and the news. I feel like I get it right with, 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 uh, with the name Hugh, but it, I, for some reason, huge and human. Just like, I don't know. Does uh, human sounds better? Human, y he, human. It's like I got a, it's like I got a cough in the middle of it. <laughs> human, I don't understand why that needs to be there. Whatever, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> human, <laughs> that's the best way to do it. All right, we're gonna. So guys, today here's the plan. Um, I was drinking this weekend because it felt bad because of sore throat. I still do a little bit, but I'm feeling better. Um, I like slept for two days straight. I like. <laughs> I slept like 18 hours yesterday. I was out. Um I still feel kind of hot though. It's all a sore throat, so I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll do our best. But the plan is open with duels, do a duels run. Uh then we're gonna do some standard. I, there's a cool deck I found I wanted to play, and we might do more than that, who knows? And then uh I'm gonna kick off a new video series for battlegrounds. I don't know that everybody's gonna be into this because some of you hate battlegrounds. That's okay. You, you don't have to watch. <laughs> well, I won't hate you. Uh, I'm going to try to save them for the end of stream so people can leave after they get a fill of whatever else. But uh, much like we did uh, Back to Duels, I want to do a Battleground series. I'm going to call it Triple Threat. I even made uh, thumbnail logo stuff already. Triple Threat. <laughs> Battlegrounds uh, video series. Triples being in Battlegrounds, obviously. And, and Triple Threat them. being somebody who plays Duel Standard and now. Battlegrounds. It's a kind of a double pun. We'll talk about that more when we get there, though. But basically, just like a uh, couple Battlegrounds games at the end of streams for the next few weeks. Uh, with the soft goal of either getting to a new MMR high or just advancing or hitting the leaderboard. or I don't know what the goals are. Just something. Just something. Um, <laughs> where's Beef? I've heard that before, too, man. Instead of your end. Yeah, I've heard that. Thanks a 100 bits, by the way. Um, appreciate it. But yeah, hey everybody. All right, let's kick off a duels run as my glasses are fogging up. I can't see. I, I waited today. I thought we might get patch notes today. I don't know. Like, they said they were meeting last week for the, like, balance changes they want to do. I thought maybe today we could get notes. Seemed a little early, but it's a possibility. So, anyway, not today. 
don't know where I was going with that, but okay. I actually think I I made a little list of stuff I want to do in duels. Actually, this is new. I think I want to do quest hunter in duels. I haven't tried quest hunter with uh, survival training. The hunter hero power. This one here, survival training. Um, as far as I know, it works with with uh, quest hunter. Does does this work with quest hunter? I guess functionally they probably all do. Oh, well, this is passive, so it doesn't do anything. Um, this probably works, but it's just not that good because you got to run death rattle minions and then you don't have any spells for actual quests. Is what I'm thinking. So this is probably not actually very good, but this is probably quite exciting. Sounded like Thursday. Okay, that's a good tip. I didn't see that. Okay, Thursday sounds cool. Slate's Syringe is a good spell for Quest Hunter, probably. We want spells, I think. It seems like a really good one. I don't know if I'll have beasts or not, but we can probably find some. Summoning stuff. So, Quest Hunter. We want cheap spells. We want, of course, Defend the Dwarven District. Spells that deal damage, specifically, I guess. Let's, let's clarify. Forgot how this worked for a second. So arcane shots on the hunts, probably even uh, overwhelm and wound prey, maybe bola shot. Uh, the only problem we're gonna have, I guess, is like priest. We might need a, more that go face because of priest. Because priest, you can't. Uh, they don't have minions, right? They don't have a lot of minions. So a lot of these that are based on hitting minions, right, may not actually do much against Priest. Uh, that's okay, though. I mean, a lot of these can go face, right? Wound praise and on the hunts and over, uh, well, not overwhelms. Arcane shots, quick shots, aim shot. Yeah, most of these can't actually go face. Slate Syringe doesn't activate quests, but it's just a spell for later once we get quests done. Uh, okay. So we probably want, on top of this, cheap spells to refresh later. What else do we want? Uh, probably a tracking. Is tracking in here? It's just a good card. Good to find treasures. Cheap. I don't think rapid shot's in set. Wand maker's probably fine. Could live with a wand maker. We could do dinomancy. <laughs> I don't think so though. <laughs> uh, explosive and sniper always possibilities, but I don't love them. I want a little bit more control over when it's going off. I think. Uh, spells that also summon beasts and deal damage, like animal companion, probably make a lot of sense. But that's really good for us. Unleash the Hounds might actually be decent, too. Again, not good pre-quest completion, but not bad after, right? Not bad after. And we need ways to summon beasts for Syringe, so... Hounds and Companions do that pretty well. And maybe just push damage. I liked the Wand Maker idea, that's fine. Maybe a uh, Venomous Scorpid as well. Another way to get a cheap spell that's a beast. Those two kind of go together well. It makes sense. This looks pretty good, actually. I, I don't know. A lot of damage output, which is good early. Some good building blocks for quests later. I guess I don't have a lot of card draw at the moment. That's a little bit concerning. So we could either generate or draw. Like, Flare is actually kind of good. Man, I kind of like a flare. I have tracking. Let's get rid of overwhelm and toss in a flare. Quick shot, sort of draw, but not really. Scorpion and one maker are sort of draw, but not really. Yeah, I I like lock and load in standard. I don't know if I like it as much in duels. I mean, I guess it's probably worth a one of just a well. It's it can only be a one of, but you know what I mean. Like, it may be worth it, just to make sure I have enough resources. I just know that, like, early in a run, this is going to be not that great. I do like how low curve this is, though. That's nice. 
Everything here is very cheap. I actually kind of hate Bola Shot. Maybe I maybe I get rid of Bola Shot, put that Piercing Shot back in. Piercing Shot, the only big issue is I don't have a, a guaranteed way to get a minion on board, right? Like, we don't have coal cars and all that stuff. It summons minions reliably for this. I have, like, Unleash the Hounds, but that might be it sometimes. Wand Maker on the Hunt. I guess I have a few. Wound Prey on the Hunt. Hounds. Yeah, that's probably enough. Kodo Bane? I don't know. Let's think about Kodo Bane. Seems slow to me at five mana. In duels. Like, often games are trending towards being over. Uh, I'm only at quick shot on two mana spells. That also makes me nervous. I mean, I, 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 I sort of like it over piercing shot, but what I need another two mana spell to make it reliable. Could go Grievous by... I cut Bola Shot, so I could toss that back in. But what would I cut? Do I think 3k Legend of EU could give me 11 star bonus? I, I don't know. I bet you're close, but I, I, I don't think there's any way to know for sure. From what I've heard, you're probably close, but I don't know enough specifics to tell you any more than that. What would I cut here, guys? I mean, I guess I could cut Hounds for Kodo Bane. Maybe, uh... No, this looks pretty good. I actually kind of like this. Hey, Sylvanas, what's up? Yeah, I like this. This is a good mix. Some draw, some damage, some quest activation. I don't know how reliably we're going to get quests done early in a run. Uh, like, I, I think it's got a pretty high chance to be too slow, basically, the Hunter quest. Like, I think our opponent might be dead by the time I get it finished anyway, because I've just gone face so much, because, you know, health totals are low. But if we can get to the point where we get up to 40 health or whatever, I think there'll be plenty of time to get quests done. And then all these card draw cards are going to be pretty valuable. I think they'll actually be bad. Like, Kota Bane's just bad for the first few games. Like, actively bad. But that's okay. Uh, I wonder what treasures are going to line up really well for this deck. Are you trying to ruin my espionage? Oh, hey! Are you a new professor? I don't know. Uh... Okay. Uh, aim shot. Sure. Let's go for faster spells here. I mean, this is such a short. I don't even know if I keep quest in this game, honestly. I actually think I might should have just mulliganed quest out. I don't even know if it's worth it. Like, I, this is just going to be such a race, right? Like, what good is quest actually going to do? Oh my God. It's really a race. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. I hope we have enough bees to make the. Well, this is actually just friendly minion, yeah. So we'll fill in the gaps on survival training here eventually, right? Like, but summoning stuff is still good if we're weaving this in. Chargement is in particular great. So like, huffer off animal companion would be nuts, right? That would be the dream. Fire shaper would definitely be good, yeah. And cat guards, yeah. Those would be a, that would be a sick pair, yeah. You know, honestly, even oops, all spells would be pretty good for this deck. Like, yes, we'd lose some minion synergy stuff off survival training, but we can still summon minions. Um, and then we just have spell damage for extra burst damage, right? That'd be sick. This is going so fast. I... <laughs> I don't know if Hero Power is, like, good enough. Uh... I think I just start shipping face, right? This is what I was saying. Like, I think I should have mulliganed quest. I think I'd been better off just arcane shotting. Like, I'm taking another three here. This is brutal. <laughs> There's no respect to this game right now. Just face, 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 face. Oh my god. Dude. I'm at eight. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm at four and he's presumably dealing two next turn. Oh god. I need like Misha actually. Misha. Huffer? Okay. Next best thing maybe. 
job's done. So he's at 11. Can I deal 11 next turn? No, right? Slates deals three. This is four. This is three, four. So I have eight damage next turn max. So I'm dead. If he can combo his weapon, I'm just dead in two turns no matter what, right? Like, is there any way for me to get um, a taunt or anything? Oh, God. Actually dead now. Whew. <laughs> oh, man. I, I think Quest was wrong. I, I didn't know this guy was going to be so hardcore face, right? Like, sometimes they uh, don't have quite that much damage. But, man, brutal. Jeez. Uh, definitely not this. I don't hate Mysterious Tome. I think Ronin's is still better for us, though. Um, there's a lot of spells I can cheese out this way, right? This will basically save me six, seven mana over the course of a game or something, even short games, right? Because you save, well, yeah, if it's seven turns, you save... Seven mana. Yeah, I think this is probably good. Is that worth more than a than a set of secrets? I think it is. I think it's worth more. Hey, geeking out, man. What's up? Secrets. Are, I, I actually really think Mysterious Home is a heavily underrated card for the record, but I still like this one better. Hmm. It's not bad, actually. Weirdly. This is pretty good, too, though. I like this, I think. Crush is too slow for us, but the first two are really good. Lake Thresher is also too slow for us in the same way Crush is, uh, but the first two, again, are pretty good. But these first two are even better. I think I like this. Animal Companions seem really, really good. Uh, these seem just a little too passive. Like, it, it's too much mana to commit, you know, often. Particularly Vol'jan. I don't really know how to use this one well. It's kind of risky in duels, I think. I think I like this. We'll just have to tank the crush draw on occasion, you know? We have quite a bit of generation and card draw, weirdly, so it, it shouldn't be a huge deal if we have to tank a, a king crush draw every once in a while. Hey, Sock Weaver, dude. Thanks for the prime sub. Oh my god. Hey, Katie Page, Rage Spy, Dragon Nerd. So many awesome people in chat. Good to see you, everybody. Thanks for hanging out today. Slate is such an idiot. I love it. Demon Hunter, it's like, uh, do we have time again? Like, do I... I guess I have to try, right? Like, in good conscience, I have to try to finish the quest, I think. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, though. Maybe maybe that's a game five play, right? I don't know. It is free, so that's pretty cool. That's cool. Uh, aim shot gives us a quest line push, I guess. Still a 25 health, so damage is pretty pretty sneaky good, I think. We have reload for Koto Bane. Yeah, we'll try this. How's the most handsome Hearthstone player doing? I, I don't know, I haven't talked to Trump today. I bet he's doing good, though. <laughs> My boy Trump! Shout out Trump, dude. Um... Uh, I can't believe they still haven't fixed the dialogue bugs in duels. A lot of things in duels don't get fixed. That's the duels life. Do I have to hit a minion here? I don't know. I'm not, like, terrified of it, but I'm also a little terrified of it. So I'm not sure. Wait, why doesn't this say deal four? Shouldn't this say deal four damage to the enemy hero? Wait, does aim shot not work with this? No way. It totally should. Maybe it's just not updating? No way. No way, dude. It totally should work. Oh, okay, it did. It's just a visual. Okay. Woo! Um, put him to 15. I think I gotta kill this. I know it's kind of split there, but... I could kill it with hero power next turn, I guess, but... I'm assuming there's gonna be more stuff coming down too, right? 
We'll see. Thank God it was a visual bug. Yeah, that would really take the wind out of my sails. A little bit. Demon companion. Ugh, charge minions are bad. Oh, mana burns bad too. Ugh. Bola shot. Uh, probably just hero powering. I guess I'm hero powering a minion, but I still hate it, sort of. I just, the, the way my hand kind of transitioned, right? Like, it, it became less and less about burst, so my game plan kind of shifted along with it. Our hands kept getting more and more, like, value-oriented, right? Like, this was a value card, value, well, you know, defensive card, value card. This is a little bit more burst oriented, but nine mana. So in a way, still slowing down the game in essence, right? So we're just gonna have to shift game plans here, unfortunately, which does mean our first couple turns kind of feel wasted almost, like they're at odds with our game plan in a way. So I'm not thrilled about that, but uh, can I get this to cost zero mana right now? Yes, I sure can, uh, but this won't die. <laughs> I need a different target. <laughs> Uh, is it still worth it just to throw it away? I guess it's still worth it to throw it away, right? Just to advance quest. Like, even though I'm still hero powering here, right? It's still just advances quest. I mean, if you assume I'm going to need that later, I guess it's kind of kind of sad, but. All right, so we actually don't have the next step, but our Hero power is zero, can target minions. We can go Brock into a one drop, like a wound prey or something. And then we're getting pretty close. Wandmaker first. Uh, I could have Wandmaker first if, if uh, I didn't want to play Kill Command, but the cost discount only affects one spell from Cadgar's right. So, speaking of which, why is my deck tracker not showing? Uh, my own deck right now. What's going on here? Oh, click here to update now. Oh, okay. I'm going to update deck tracker real quick. I don't know what that was about. Ugh. It's not too exciting. Kodo B. Give me, uh, that's good. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Probably just quick shot here, right? So next turn I can go on the hunt, he well, hero power, on the hunt, hero power, lock and load, hero power, whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll probably be set up pretty well here if I'm not dead. There we go, there's our deck. Thank you, deck tracker. Sorry I didn't update you sooner. My apologies. Oh, I'm dead, okay. Well, I'll scratch the plan then. Oh, maybe not dead? Maybe dead? I mean, out of mana, so surely not. Can you just deal nine? Can I deal nine? It feels like probably. Mm -hmm. I gotta play, Ta oh, I forgot I had to play Tavish. I cannot deal nine. Oh, well, I might still be able to. I totally forgot I have to play Tavish. Uh, if I play Tavish, that's six, I have eight if I hit something off of this. So I can't play, I, I, I gotta go for Animal Companions. I need to hit Huffer. I need to hit. I need to actually do this first, maybe, right? Oh, it doesn't help though. It helps if I get like Kill Command. Oh God, I need, I need Leoc or Huffer. Oh, that's... Well, that might keep me alive, actually. Okay. Hold up. Oh, my God. Shoot. Is that enough to keep me alive, guys? The taunt? I guess, in a way, like, I was always either going to get a lethal or a taunt. Or, yeah, yeah, a lethal or a taunt. Shoot. I, to I totally forgot I had to play damage. <laughs> I just totally blanked on that fact. I thought my hero power was going to be done, honestly. <sighs> Forgot how quest lines work. It's not on Guerrero Regis. Uh-oh. That seems bad. It seemed dead. I feel very dead. Yep, I'm dead. Cool. 
Man. Cannot seem to win a race right now. I think Quest is bait. We'd be better off if we just weren't playing Quest, I think, reason, almost. I have a slightly different impression Honestly. I think Samuro's double strike is way more restrictive than you think. This is a very long cheer. I think it specifically <laughs> requires you to have already dealt damage to the opponent by one of your other mercs during the same turn for second attack to proc. Uh, yeah, I, let me let me read it again, actually. Uh, most people aren't going to care about this. I'm going to try to make this quick. I got to read it again. I can't remember. I remember thinking about this a lot when I made the video. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I agree with your I agree with your assessment, but I still feel like it's going to be potentially very good. Like I think I let me let me let me think. Uh Well, yeah, okay. Uh this is too much to get into right now cuz most people don't care at all. Um I think your own attack will proc it, unlike you, actually. But I don't know. Because just the way it's written, right? Like, because if you think about it, right, there are, like, divine shields and stuff that could still disrupt that. So, like, if you attack a divine shield minion, they won't have been damaged this turn. So I, I think it's basically saying, like, if they didn't have divine shield or immune or something, right, that protected them from that first attack that the second attack will go off. That was my interpretation. It's actually different than yours. I don't know. Who knows if that's right? I sure don't know. But at least that's the interpretation I had. Uh, Surly Mob's a spell. It's not a good one, but it's a spell. This deck feels completely useless, by the way. <laughs> Let's just acknowledge that now. I actually really like the uh, charge widgets and stuff with our hero power. This is kind of cool. Let's take this. Do do do. Okay. I think we're gonna go on three. <laughs> we'll try. I hope some but I think we're gonna go on three. With balance patch, which is supposed to be a big patch. What do you mean, like a secret announcement, like a Merc's thing, or uh? What are you anticipating for a secret announcement? If we go on three, we'll do another run. Don't worry, guys. I feel like we got two bad matchups. I feel like our deck's really good against like anything that's slightly slower. Uh, and we just so far have faced like two straight up burn opponents. I guess that's everybody in duels though, so I don't know why I'm surprised. Yes, specifically Mercs related. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I hope we get more in Mercs news soon. It's definitely felt weird to announce it and then disappear. Did not seem like a uh, maybe that changed because of the reception. I don't know, but they definitely just announced it and then noped out. <laughs> Haven't said anything since. That's weird. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Solid opener, I'd say. Pretty fast. <laughs> you can open with Wound Prey on one. Which is good. Quest might I oh oh for a second I thought oh my god I could use this to destroy their quest. It doesn't work that way. It's, just, it's not a secret. <laughs> we know what it is. I'm waiting to use this on um I can't wait to use this on uh mysterious tome, like the uh passive treasure on turn one. That'd be so sick. Aim shot here seems totally fine. Be able to hit hero power to buff this up next turn, maybe. That'd be sick. <laughs> turn four in duels lately feels like late game, honestly. <laughs> Good old turn four duels. Freeze or kill you in two turns sometimes. Barrel spirit. So... Like, boom, boom. Still not really that good. Anything off tracking that's really good for us? Bola shot's pretty solid. Quick shots are okay. Slates actually is really good. Uh, do we like Bola better or Surly Mob? 
Ola's two mana, so on the hunt finishes off. It's not really great in either case. Uh, but this does give me quests, so I think I take it, right? Because then I can hero power. This is definitely the line. It's not great, great, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I guess it's pretty good in the scheme of things. Oh, did I do that in the wrong order? Good to get a buff here, huh? Uh, well, no, I had to do it in that order to get it to zero mana. Never mind. Just got lucky. <laughs> good 50 50, I guess. That's cool. All right. Well, uh, that felt awesome, actually. It's a great opener. I haven't even used coin yet. I don't know if I'm going to need coin. Call of the Wild and King Crush are pretty expensive, though, so maybe. Can't complain here, though. Oh, did I have to upgrade it hero power? Oh, I did. Yeah, you're right. Kind of wasted that. I mean, not really, though, because I wanted to advance quest anyway. Um, oh, I could have hit face with the... Uh, well, no. I had Bola shot. had to hit two targets anyway. It didn't really matter, right? And also, that's really annoying that it didn't show me that. But it didn't matter, right? What difference would it have made? If I want to advance quest anyway, that was still the right way to do it. Right? What what difference would it have made? I mean, I guess if you want to do face damage and trade in a minion, you could have. But I don't want to trade in minions. That feels unnecessary, I guess. Uh, let's open with a flare. See if we can't find a way to finish quest this turn. For Tavish next turn. Cool. That'll do it. We are flying right now, by the way. May not really need Tavish, but <laughs> he's there. We need him. It's all good. There it's seven. I have... Theoretically, six. Tavish is fine to play on five, probably. We're still 20. They're going to think about being defensive here, not uh, offensive. So that's nice. Um, objective, dude, 24 months. Holy crap, man. Thank you, Objective, for the 24 months. Well, that's good reactivity. Jeez. Forgot this guy existed, honestly. Do I ever go Slates and Scorpid? I don't think so. I think we just Tavish, right? We're pretty close to winning. I don't think I'll be dead or anything. This is not a high output face card, right? This is more of a uh, uh, board reactivity card. So we shouldn't be dead here in most cases. Uh, do I have to have a beast on board to play this? Or can I play it without a beast on board? Like, am I going to have to commit this mana, in other words, to get it done? I don't know. Are you ready for this? Don't know. Does anybody know? Objective oh, I can play it. Okay. Finally found. Let me prepare my uh, oh, crap. Actually, uh... I still don't have it. I have to find a cheaper spell. Oh, piercing shot. We'll just do it on its own, right? Yeah. Cool. Cheap spell discount. Thank you. We did it. We won a game with Quest Hunter. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, thanks again for the... Two years and oh, oops, all spells. Oh, I, I think that's great, isn't it? Oh, crap. Uh, Raren with 32 man rate. Thank you, Raren. Appreciate that. 32 kind folks. 32 kind Wait, folks. Did you need cheaper spell? You hero power as zero mana. Uh, it, it is, but I if I had to cast a spell to get a new one because they were at five. Two, two hero powers wasn't lethal with the spell in hand, so I had to get a cheaper playable spell. They were all four mana on the discover, so the fact that they were one mana less let me play them for lethal. 
Whereas otherwise I wouldn't have had lethal. Right? <laughs> Isn't that... Uh, I would have had a hero fighter, but the three. I would have had slates to recast. Syringe as a spell. It is, but it wouldn't have been lethal. It can't go face. It would have only put them to one. That's what I mean. I, they were five. I hero powered. Slates. There are three. I hero powered again. They're at one. It would refresh hero power. <laughs> <laughs> it would refresh your bar once, yeah. Once. They were five. Why, why is this so hard? They were five. Make some room by the hearth, won't you? Right? Happy Slates refreshes it once. And BT the hero power deals two. Hit legend today. So I deal and two, five. refresh, deal two. They're still alive at one. So I had to have another playable spell, which means I had to play Scorpid, which costs three mana. Right? The hero power doesn't refresh off Scorpid. So I had to get a playable spell that dealt damage or was one mana to play alongside slates. Oh, wait, I am too used to odd hunter and wild. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that's a big difference. Odd hunter deals more damage. That that explains it. Anyway, we're going to take oops all spells. <laughs> I can't handle this much math. Me neither. It's too too early in the day. It's 12:43 p.m. I'm still asleep. Uh, oops, all spells is perfect for us. Uh, these, these are actually, uh, normally good. I mean, Rally of Troops is amazing. We just don't have a great tech for it. Orb is, uh, also not bad, frankly. We have some good, good discover stuff, but oops is just insane. So, we're gonna have in just ridiculously cheap spells that deal big, big damage. Uh, well. It took me some time to realize hero power deals only two. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I just, I, you know, I, you guys often correct plays, so I'd like to entertain the, uh, you know, corrections. I, you know, I, I'm not exactly, I don't exactly have a perfect batting average here on, on stream with misplays. So I like to entertain them. I just thought I was going nuts. Uh, do you guys like three or two better here? I guess I like three better because it's... I get a bow, which is actually pretty good because Oops All Spells doesn't destroy weapons, right? It only destroys minions. So I get like two cards here that are pretty solid. Although that said, uh, it does not even matter. Whatever, they just have tracking to get more immediate spells. Maybe that's just better. Just to, how many spells do I actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, one, six, I have plenty. Seventeen. I think I'm actually gonna take this because I don't really want the weapon. I guess. The weapon is actually just a, a non-spell damage spell, so it slows down quest. I, I think I just take here. Because the two minions get deleted, and then it's just a tracking, which is awesome. I'm going to have a really tight deck now. It's going to be just so many cheap spells. I actually kind of need more, like, three mana spells, because uh, I have the Cadgar's discount, I guess, will now stack with the Oops All Spells discount. So three mana spells, the first three mana spell per turn will cost zero, right? And then future three mana spells will wait. Barak's in my opening hand. Do I get to? Do I get to keep minions in the mulligan? Oh, I didn't know this. Do I get to keep him because he's in the mulligan, or does he get deleted? I hope he sure doesn't get deleted. It says in your deck, but most start of game effects happen pre mulligan. We've seen that with like. Uh, Gin and Baku and stuff, right? Okay, this actually doesn't stack, I guess. Oh, this is one less. Oh, I thought it was two less for some reason. So it does stack. I just am dumb with the math. Uh, we can go here to get tempo then, because this... Uh... Oh, well, this still costs zero anyway. Oh, of course, because of oops all spells. Ones are always going to be zero. Threes are going to be two. Fours are going to be two slash three. Depending on if they're first or not. Okay, this is pretty nuts, actually. I like that I can keep the minion in the opener. It's just such a good reload for us, right? That's really cool. Surly mob for one. Sure. Uh, this will make kill command unplayable, though. But that's okay. It does deal seven, though. Did I just go face already? 
Why do they have poison? Uh, he has band of bees. I think since it has poison, we just do this. Job done. Okay. Seven spell dam seven damage kill commands though are pretty nuts. The light so next year we'll probably hero power kill commands. Divine shield makes that annoying to deal with for sure. Get a slate syringe, I guess, would be pretty nuts. But we're gonna have to start hitting face soon. We we can't win board for, in this matchup, obviously, because poison's gonna be nuts. Band of B's really good to get with this hero power, by the way. Makes all of your recruits just so nuts. Alrighty. I can cycle this now. I mean, he could play a secret though. There's really because he has hydrologist. So yeah, we should we should wait. Actually, it's just better. So he's at 16. Uh, I mean, we're not taking a lot of damage yet or anything, which is good news. God. I thought Band of Bees. Oh no, okay. I thought it was first minion for a while. I forgot how they nerfed it. It's it's still all minions cost three less, but it's play, not summon. That used to be the difference, right? Uh Okay, still hasn't played this, unfortunately. This is kinda kinda garbage, isn't it? It just does pretty much nothing. I think I actually really need to cycle here, despite the secret. I just don't have any good cards. Uh, Welcome. sure. Boys, make some room by the hearth, won't ya? Always want to play our cards that, uh... Am I going face or am I ever hitting this just to change the clock a little? 11? I'm playing Kodo Bay next turn. I can play a one-minute spell guaranteed. I think I'm still gonna go face. It's obviously debatable, but I can hero power that later. In fact, uh, I could have hero powered that now for free, but that wouldn't have made a difference. That's, that's fine. Maybe I could have hero powered it. Maybe I should have. I don't know. No, if I'm gonna go face, I gotta go all in, right? No. He's at 11. I'm already pretty close. This should be fine. There's the secret. Hopefully not anything too disruptive. Should have done companion first. I did do companion first. What do you mean? Oh, over the... Uh... Oh, I literally just talked about that. Did I cast flare first? Well, no, I, I cast flare first because I might get a better spell to play. I don't agree with that because we might just get a better spell that works out much more. Uh, six, eight, nine. First. Yeah, that that's totally fine. I, I I like flare first actually. Okay, we're gonna get a one mana spell here, which often deals with the three one, but not always. Well, I need to hear a part of this and just take my time. If I get Arcane Shot or on the hunt, I can kill it anyway. I'm going to take the risk. I think we'll be okay. I think I'll have like a lethal setup next turn. Oh, Quick Shot's free too, I guess. Yeah. Well. Uh, it's five. He'll be at six. I actually don't have lethal though. Man, I really wish this hand were better. Uh, I'm... Oh, of course. I'm realizing that... Uh, oh, what did I get? Oh, Sigil of Silence. Okay. That's interesting for the taunt, I guess. Um, I'm realizing that it only drew a uh, limited number of cards because of the discounts in deck, by the way. Which really sucks. <laughs> That's really annoying. Oh, okay. That's at least gonna get Silence off again, but... Still in a little bit of a pickle now. I don't know if I have a great, great answer here. So 
So I guess it's impossible for him to draw one mana spells because they all cost zero. It's pretty wild. Okay. Little trade, makes sense. This is gonna be a great answer to some of this board, hopefully. Thanks, quick shot. <laughs> not confusing at all. Uh, so this is actually nine. It's not quite lethal yet, though. Shoot. If I'd gone face last year. Well, I couldn't go face. It was oh my yogged. Uh, okay. That's fine, though. I guess hit the big ones. So I don't know. <gasps> oh, God. Oh god, no! Shoot! Uh. Oh god, I'm scared I'm dead to a weapon. I have to kill that, I think. Oh, eye for an eye sucks! Shoot! Oh no, I need to top deck lethal. This is dealing four, so it, I need two damage. I have so many ways to deal two damage. It's like almost my whole deck. Tracking will almost certainly find a lethal, right? Oh, he did armor up though. Oh crap, he armored up. Oh, oh, Craze Mob is pretty sick though. I only have eight and he armored up, right? So we'll take Craze Mob to, to fully clear. Okay. So now I need four damage off the top, which is actually a little bit harder to get to. Uh, also, I think my game just lagged out. Yay, Hearthstone. Great. Great, why not button the Ellie instead of Syringe? Because I would lose out on the face damage. Syringe is only good against minions and I would lose four damage to face. Uh, great. Oh my god, seriously? Really? Uh, Arcane Shot was lethal. It was not. He gained four armor. He was at 10 health. Broken. Arcane Shot plus zero power is only eight. Hearthstone, don't freak out on me. He played Armor Vendor. Okay. Oh, restore eight health. Oh, God. Crap. For duty. Reporting for duty. Reporting oh, for duty. no. Reporting for oh, duty. no. He restored eight health. Bola shot is actually insane. Uh, for real? So I'm alive after this bolus shot. Can I hit a lethal here? I don't know. I don't know what's in my deck anymore. It's like on the hunt and like, I don't know. I don't think we'll hit a lethal. I think there might actually be another quick shot though. Oh God, I'm almost dead. Oh God. Oh, I am dead. No <laughs> way. Come on. Oh, I hate duels, dude. I hate you should duels. Have restarted the game right away. Reconnect doesn't I work freaking anymore. hate duels, If you duels, get disconnected man. from server, you can only restart to get reconnected to game. Uh, I feel like that's what I did. What do you mean? All right, we're going to do this again. Well, duels. I don't know about Hunter, of course. We're going to get offered Hunter. If we do get offered Hunter, I'm actually going to do it again. I think we can make this better. I think we learned. Okay, great. I don't know what this is. Hey, Reno Jenkins, dude, thanks for the two years, man. Amazing. Weren't we supposed to get an announcement about what nerfs are coming tomorrow? Dialogue. It I, don't, work. I don't think so, man. Uh, they didn't even say nerfs are coming tomorrow. I, I don't know. You might have got an idea for a date in your head, but I unfortunately don't think that date exists. Uh, they said... 
later in September for when the nerfs would hit, which is about as non-specific as we could possibly know. Not sure where the where the tomorrow thing showed up, but I think that might have been misguided, unfortunately. I hate to tell you. Uh, but Reno Chicken, thanks again for the two years. Three really sticks to the bits. Nerfs are next week. Yeah, that sounds more reasonable. Uh, we saw like on Twitter somebody linked earlier. Uh, Deck Tech, the guy who writes the patch notes, made it sound like maybe the patch notes could hit late this week, possibly, but probably no sooner than later this week. <sighs> okay, I already opened the pack, but I didn't get the rest of the rewards. Cool. I'd like to do this hunter deck again. I think we can do it better. I think we learned a lot. I'm sad that the Upsil spell thing didn't work out for us, but let's try one more duels run here. If we get hunter, we'll do it again. If not, uh, we'll see what's up, but... Oh, sweet. Okay, we'll try again. Well, let me double check. There's nothing more interesting because I did talk about a totem shaman. Totem quest shaman. No, let's do hunter again. We're going to try again. I didn't, I didn't love Slate Syringe, by the way, but I think it's probably still the best bet we have. Because we're not running any of this other stuff. It's just, like, not that useful uh, normally, right? So, okay, Arcane Shot we liked. Dwarven District, I didn't actually like that much early, but we will later. I think I'm going to mulligan Dwarven District in these early games, though. Uh, which we didn't do last time. But I think that's the learning we'll take away. Bola shot actually seemed pretty good. Wound prey was great. Uh, quick shot was amazing. Aim shot was solid. Companion was good. Kill command we like. Run overwhelm. Even wild deck runs just to have enough damage spells. Yeah, I had overwhelm. I think I might. I, I do like the idea of overwhelm coming back in. Did we like Kodobane? He seems slow to me. But I also ran out of spells pretty regularly, so. I didn't get a chance to use lock and load. I didn't really like Wandmaker or Scorpid as much as I expected, by the way. I thought they were kind of, I mean, I guess Scorpid kind of makes sense for slates, but I didn't like Wandmaker that much. Felt like it was awkward to play. Like I just kept wanting to play spells, you know? Could I run like a slate in my slate deck? Voracious reader. Voracious reader. Well, we were kind of light on cards, but I think I'd only like that in the first couple games. Which, usually we're going to be able to win via just raw damage, I think. In other words, the time it's good, I don't know if I need it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, I think I just want to go, because, you know, 20 health and stuff in the first couple games, like, we just want to go. Can I rely on Kodo Bane being offered in a bucket? I don't know. I would definitely love to not have him in the first few first few games. I'll tell you that. I would I would love to run like a Rindling's rifle or something instead, honestly. Just more damage and kind of some flexibility. Maybe I even run that over piercing shot. I don't I don't like Secret's main deck guys just because they're hard to control. Like I, I don't know. And they're really bad against, like, priests in particular. Secrets against priests are mostly useless. Maybe a snipe or something occasionally, but... I don't know. I feel like priest is just going to hit me really hard, and I need to race, and secrets won't help me race. Thinking about cutting Scorpid again. Maybe, maybe putting in <clears throat> the piercing shot. <coughs> Because I just really, really want to race early. And this, I think, is more damn Like, Scorpid's just a little slow. I kind of like the look of this. The other four mana spell? You mean, like, Flanking Strike? It can't go face. is the reason I don't like Flanking Strike. Same for Multishot. Uh, Bola Shot does more total damage than the uh, Grievous Bite. Like, this does uh, four damage, right? And this does five. 
So, I mean, there, there's probably better logic than that if you really break down duels. Like, you know, these sorts of minions are most likely to exist, and you could probably uh, reverse engineer that. But honestly, the only ones that come to mind are the, the Void dudes for Priest, which all have two health, and Bola Shot's better against those because it would kill two Void dudes instead of just one outright. So even if I break it down more logically, I think I like Bola Shot better. So across both those fronts. Scorpion is better than Animal Companion. Uh, I don't think I agree, but it's not a crazy claim. The problem, right, is that for Scorpid to be good, you have to spend additional mana, whereas Companion can just go face right away. Like, yes, Scorpid can help you get quests done in some cases, but this also helps you get a much more reliable just damage output and hero power refresh if quest is done. So... I don't know. I don't I don't think we need more help getting quests done. I just want to have better plays. And I want higher tempo plays, which companion seems to be much, much higher tempo. And like like I said, I think this this initial deck needs to be built for games like one through three. And I think just damage in games one through three is the way to go. Like I want max tempo and pressure. Because we got to race Priest, we got to race Rogue, we got to race Demon Hunter. Once once we get into like games five through six, you know, I'm going to want more value. So Scorpid would start to look better and better. But I got to get to games five and six for that to be a relevant concern. Which we did, last time we did this, we did not get to games five and six. Um, oh, I get to fight the great Keralion. How invigorating. Overwhelm against uh, Paladin's good. Do we keep quest, right? Uh, or do we just go face? Uh, I regretted keeping quest last time we did this run, five minutes ago, <laughs> because we were racing and it was just so slow. I against Paladin, will I have more time? I still kind of think I'm going to pass. I think at 20 health, I think I'm just going to try to go. I think I want... Uh, I think I want as much as I can. Just pressure, pressure, pressure. Three drops are not it, though. We want ones and twos. One's good. Filling it in here. Quest is a dead draw? Uh, it is, but I have a one out of 12 chance to have that dead draw now, as opposed to keeping it in hand means it's a guaranteed dead draw, right? <laughs> uh, so I don't think that's a great logic. Uh, I would I would much rather much rather have the you know whatever it is eight percent or something dead draw than the one hundred percent dead draw. Uh, do we go lock and load or do we just? Uh... Actually, I'm gonna take Rindlings. I think. Yeah. I can hero power on two if need be, or just hit the you know hit the hit the good draw hopefully, but. Quest is hard to complete against Divine Shield. That's a good argument, yeah. I think this is more of a dude deck, but still could be some shields in there. I mean, a lot of my stuff goes face for quest, but some of it doesn't. Bull shot and overwhelm, so. I think that's a good logical reason to ditch quest again, too, yeah. It's back! I still hero power. We're not even really that good at finishing it right now. So unfortunately, we hit the one out of 12 dead draw, but at least it wasn't in hand. I got an aimed shot instead of it, right? Ooh, these are gross. I don't want this. This this actually kind of encourages quest a little more again. Like the game has slowed down dramatically right now. Um, oh, I didn't add flare. We had flare before, which I really liked. Sad. I mean, this for sure feels like a, an Oh My Yog, right? <laughs> this is going to trigger some people. This is going to make some of you upset, I think. Um, but I think I'm going to Oh My Yog <laughs> the quest. <laughs> I think I'm going to throw away this for quest intentionally. Not, not an accident. Oh, no, it went through. No. What have I done? Uh, okay. Still gonna go face.
still sticking to the plan. I think we're in trouble, though, honestly. I have a good four. I, I can put together a good five with aim shot, and then animal companion slates on six is, is potentially pretty nuts. Bola shot might keep getting better and better, depending on how boards line up and stuff. Um, probably just going to attack with Rindlings for now, though. Let's see. Is on the hunt slate syringe just better, though? Yeah, I think so, actually. Sadly, this is on the hunt and not wound prey, which would be notably better. Uh, could also go Bola on the hunt, but that seems a little weirder. I mean, this is this Avenge, by the way, ever? Because if it hits here for Avenge, I'm so happy. Hit here, hit here. Oh, I'm way less happy. How much do I respect the, the card draw here? I don't think that much. I think I just debuffed this. If the Avenge hit here, oh, I would have been so happy, dude. Imagine how good that would have been. I could have fully cleared that, eaten the Divine Shield with ease. Would have been so nice. So now Bola Shot again is looking more sensible. Oh, even better. Now I can Bola here. Nice. Do, do, do. Then I can hero power as well. Maybe animal companion if I feel like it. Ooh, that could be an Omayag. Uh oh. Might have to open with animal companion then. So that this actually resolves. Let's just see. Might get a spell I like, honestly. Some pretty crazy AoE and stuff could be nuts here. Let's see. Oh, it is! It is! Oh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, and it has still advanced quest. <laughs> That's actually sick. Um, I think we just go here and clear it out, right? Yeah. No need to get fancy on it, I don't think. Kona Gold was actually probably just better than uh, Animal Companion there. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so. Uh, aim shot, hero power is a lot of damage if we want. Could also just keep rolling with uh, Rindlings. Probably just ignore this stuff for now, right? Like try to hit a freezing trap and go face for seven. Oh, piercing shot's good too, though. Doesn't actually really do much for quest at the moment, though, because it would. I'd still hit it for two. Yeah, I'm still just gonna Rindlings this turn. Oh my god, Hearthstone, dude. I. What is happening? Oh my god, Hearthstone. <sighs> like, what is the deal? Hearthstone, go home, you're drunk. Yes, exactly. <sighs> oh my god, dude. EU Quest Hunter. I'll just stick with my Rat Hunter. It's more respectable. Uh, Battle.net won't connect! Uh, what is happening? <sighs> oh my god. I'm definitely going to lose the game now. It's taking too long. Oh. My internet's working and it just won't. Oh my God. I am actually so annoyed right now. It just says connecting, connecting, connecting. Oh. I'm so frustrated. I can handle balance problems. I can handle all this stuff. I can't handle technical problems. It's a billion, multi-billion dollar company. We have to have a working client. I, I, it just has to work. I, uh, you know, it's easier said than done, I understand, but it, it, I just missed two turns, great. It's just, the client has to work. You can't have a game without a client that works. Oh. Reporting for duty. 
it's not even a graphically intense game. I mean, it is, there's a lot going on in a, in a Hearthstone game, I guess. There's a lot of numbers and stuff floating around, but. <sighs> I know games are hard. I don't, you know, I don't take it on anybody individually. Clearly it's, you know, it's not easy, but. It, it it's it's gotta it's just gotta work <laughs> like it's just there's no people can't play a game that doesn't work you know it sucks uh i actually am just gonna retire this run i think these treasures suck i just i'm tilted frankly from that so whatever we're gonna start over Yeah, thankfully I'm not, uh, you know, hurting for gold. Like, I don't, that's not a big deal to me to lose the gold. Are you serious? It's disconnecting again. It, it's not my internet. I'm watching you guys in chat on the same PC. It's just frozen. <laughs> I just don't understand. No VPN, nothing unusual or weird. Just standard. I don't have problems with anything else. Come, sit a while and relax. I just don't know. I feel like there's so much tech debt in Hearthstone. And I feel bad. I honestly feel bad for like uh, you know, the design team, the folks I know. They're it's not they're they're not the ones <laughs> like, you know, when you design an expansion, it it's probably sucks a lot to have uh have a lot of it soured by technical problems and technical bugs and all this stuff, but it just keeps cropping up. I don't know. Plus, I hear so many complaints about people who just can't play the game on mobile at all. Like I feel like that has to be solved. People need to be able to play the game. How much money does that cost? How much, you know, opportunity does that cost? Okay, uh, let's see. Are any of these on my list? I wanted to try a freeze mage, kinda. I wanted to try a weapon deck or a legendary deck. We could maybe do all legendary paladin. I think I'm gonna do all legendary paladin. Uh, which actually kind of makes Royal Greatsword worse in a way. Uh, could maybe do this instead. What do you guys think? Maybe go this route? If I go all legendaries? I guess I probably don't love the legendaries here, but I just get a lot of them. Did you try putting Hearthstone on another SSD? I need to buy a dedicated SSD for Hearthstone. The main one's not good enough. <laughs> you gotta spend. You got the reason you gotta get a dedicated SSD just for uh, just for Hearthstone. Yeah, weapon is weapon is pretty OP. Like this can like single-handedly win games early. Even if I take low-cost legendaries, maybe I still just take this. Just cuz uh who cares if I get a 3 drop legendary, it's still just so good. What internet provider are you using? Uh I don't know why that matters. It's it's not my internet. I mean, it's Perhaps there's some interaction, but maybe the 50 people in chat who say this happens to me all the time now, too. I don't know. I feel like it's not local to us. As you saw, the stream doesn't go down. I'm reading chat off the same PC. Like, it's not an internet thing. I, I don't know. It, well, I mean, it could be, but it's, it's specific to Hearthstone. If there's some interaction specific to Hearthstone and, and my internet, then, like... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But I have uh, AT&T Fiber. It's so strange. 
It could be a deck tracker thing. Sure, I don't know. I don't think so, but Warlock. This is a diamond rank matchup. I am confused. <laughs> Rat Hunter and Boar Warlock. Wow. In diamond even. That is pretty impressive, I gotta say. Uh alright. Big luxurious. Who do we take? I can't take too many greedy ones, right? I have to take a mix here of, of cheaper legendaries. Uh But I want a lot of legendaries. I want to get the legendary treasure cards, basically. I also probably want to weave in some battle cries in case we have a battle cry backup plan. Um, <laughs> I do buy a lot of bundles is the sad thing. I am, by many intents and purposes, probably a whale. I guess not like crazy mobile whale whale, but... I think my total expenditure on, on Blizzard stuff is like three, four thousand dollars. Maybe more than that now, I don't know. Just buy every Hearthstone thing every time. Do, 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 do. Okay. I still want more legendaries. I think I need more. Trallion feels a little slow. Thalnos feels a little pointless. I don't hate Nairlax. Right wing is not bad. It's a battle cry and a legendary. Uh, honestly, Tink Master is maybe okay. This deck like used to run Fugan and Stalin, but I think they're too slow. Uh, oh, not a month! <laughs> God, no, I mean total! Not a, oh my god, a month! Is, that would indeed definitely be whale status. I don't mean a month, I mean total over my lifetime. But yes, yeah, some mobile... Like, uh, I was thinking about this the other day, like, how quickly it stacks up. I was thinking, like, with Mercenaries, right? Like, Mercenaries is probably not super well-received among most players, based on what we can tell. Uh, obviously, we don't have insider data. But think, you know, if, if, if let's say Mercenaries comes out, right? And there are a thousand whales who spend a thousand dollars. And there will definitely be people who spend a thousand dollars on Mercenaries, right? It only takes a thousand of them to make Blizzard a million dollars, Right? They need a thousand people to make a million dollars. Now, a million dollars actually isn't really that much to Blizzard, right? Because they've had, you know, 20, 30, 40 employees or something working on mercenaries for a year. So, you know, that, that's just enough to cover wages, maybe. But by the time you get to wages and healthcare and all this other stuff they're paying for, right? But, and, and probably more like for, for five to 10 employees, not, not 20 or 30. So they, they probably need to make. 10 million to even break even just on, you know, development costs. I'm making up numbers, obviously, but, you know, something in these orders of magnitude is probably remotely close. Um, so do they maybe need, like, 5,000 people playing, like, whales, true whales in Mercenaries to be a success? I don't know what the number is, right? And then a few other people, you know, another, another 10,000 spending a little just pre-ordering. And it might... Um, might not be wrong, too far off, right? We got 50 employees. Let's say an average of, of what, uh, 200 grand a piece by the time you got salaries and everything else going on. That's 10 million. 10,000 dudes play mercenaries at a thousand bucks uh, pre order. Doesn't take long. To, for whales to make it make it all back is what I'm getting at, right? Now, of course, long term that can all change and it's upkeep and so on and so forth. But uh, the numbers add up quicker than you think, which is kind of crazy. Uh, seven drop that equips weapon from deck. Yeah, maybe I got so distracted I'm blanking on what I need here. I want curve still. I think I actually need to add like Thalnos. Maybe even a Jackson. Like, I just need a Tempo Legendary. Or, or maybe we have enough. I don't know. Maybe we just got to go for normal cards, too. I, I probably can't go this hard on Legendaries. I want to actually succeed. 
So what else do we run here? Uh, Divine Shields are also good. We could do... Just good, cheap Divine Shields for our hero power, basically. Stall cards. Uh, battle Cries are good to have a backup plan as well, right? If we can get Battle Cries. So we have, like, maybe Divine Shield backup plan, Battle Cry backup plan. Uh... Like Knight of Anointment, still don't have any spells at the moment, would be kind of cool. Peacekeeper. I actually don't hate Tarim, by the way. It's kind of cool. Holy spell. Something to kill Barov. Uh, yeah, I don't Two even know if I want Barov actually. Thirteen great whale species are I'm not endangered. sure yet. We are basically doomed because I don't really know how to use him in the stack. A WS bill for mercenary server load. <laughs> Eric, dude, thanks for other bits. Are you a whale, Eric? It seems like you're a whale around these parts, but I don't know. Blizzard's gonna save the whales. That's what Free Willy was really about. It's a metaphor for uh, mobile game capitalism. <laughs> uh, I, I think the minion that equips swap for your deck is too slow, personally, yeah. But uh, I don't know. I actually think I'm going to cut Bear off. I, I think we really don't have a way to use him, honestly. Welcome, boys. Make some room by hey, JonTron. Wow, thanks for the five thanks months. Thanks for all the content, Regis. You the best. Thanks, John Tron, dude. Yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Is that the actual John Tron? I don't think so. I don't even know who the actual John Tron is. I know that name from somewhere, but. Uh. Ha, ha, ha. I don't actually, I, I've like lost motivation to play, honestly. I feel like I just had a lot of energy coming into today's stream and then just DCing twice in the middle of runs just really sapped my, uh, my strength. I just like, I, I just like, I'm distracted now. I just am not into it anymore as much. Uh, I was going to add holy spells. That's what I was going to do. Holy spells. I added blessed goods. Well, go with quality now at boys, three mana is pretty cool. Heretic. Oh my God. 20 well, subs, dude. Wow. Uh, 20 subs, dude. Welcome. Unbelievable. Grats to Click the Lantern, Hots Monsta, Philia Fed, WTF Vini, Emerald Boa, Gadizzle, Astrological Jab, Wild Cattery. Wild Cat Terry. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. I know I know the name. The Schnaz, Warrenie, Super Zot, Agent Iowa, Asian Cowbox, Nerd Fighter, Luin, Barak, Dark Crusader, Ninja God, and Consec Norm Punch. Amazing. Did you know gifted subs are 20% off? Uh, I did actually know that. Yeah, I don't I don't like to advertise it too much. I don't like uh, hassling people for subs, you know, but <laughs> thank you, Heretic, for noticing and uh, dropping the crazy gifted sub bomb. That's very nice. <laughs> Wild Gattery. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of game dev, Sergeant Smokey, when do we get updates? When do we, uh, when do, when do I, when do I get to play stuff, dude? I still have, uh, I still have you on my uh, Welcome, Games Pass uh, Make some room by the wish list. I'm just, I see it every every few days. I'm just Welcome, waiting. Boys, just waiting patiently. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. King's Consecration. Consecration would give me a reason to play the Bear of again, I guess. Welcome, boys, Although I still don't really love it. 
make some room by the hearth. When you were discussing game dev costs, I was quietly nodding at how expensive everything is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. It can be expensive. I feel like uh to like uh, for I don't know how it works for you, but a lot of smaller studios it's like licensing costs for all these engines and stuff adds up. You know, Blizzard is even using Unity for Hearthstone instead of something internal. <laughs> no pressure. I'm just always watching. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, I don't know. This is good enough. I'm just over it. I, I, like, I, I honestly just, like, lost my energy to play. Hey, Heretic, thanks for the another gifted sub. My god, Markon. He did a sub check, it failed, and now he gets one. Congrats, Markon. Amazing. I do feel like, uh, luckily for, well, I guess depending on specifics, but a lot of uh, indie game studios lately are having, I think, an easier time getting funding, which is cool. There's a lot more opportunities to get funding from what I hear, which is cool. As long as it doesn't come with too many uh, demands. I feel like back in the day, 10 years ago, that wasn't as, as much the case. Now it's like 10 cents just funding everybody, whoever else. Uh, if you would stream anything that isn't Hearthstone, what would it be? Uh, Legends of Runeterra. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I thought about playing Deathloop tonight, but I don't know if I'll have time. Do, do, do. Yeah, lawn mowing simulator for sure. All right, this is a good opener. Good tempo cards, right? We don't want to take the kind of sneaky stuff. Zola and those cards are there for later, honestly. Oh, this is actually a really spicy curve. Wow. This is not great for our hero power, obviously, but still happy to take it. Hero power here is kind of a bonus for us more than a more than a real push. I want to get legendary synergy treasures. Why we got all these legendaries. Ooh, portal discard warlock. I love it. That's exciting. That's really fun. May the light grant you peace. That's super cool. Uh, I guess we'll probably coin a three and do a three here. Just, uh, I, you know, great sword's better earlier, sure, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't have any twos in this deck, sadly, but I don't have a hero power right now either, so do I ever forego... Man, actually, I, I think I, especially if nothing scary happens here, I think I do just forego my turn two altogether in order to keep a turn four greatsword, right? Because turn four greatsword's insane. Yeah, I guess it can hit a, a Zola or something that we're pretty sad about, but just the damage itself is nuts. Just crazy. Yeah, let's do it. Oops, all legendaries. Oops, all legendaries. <laughs> that would be sick. Uh, what, uh, what is the actual legendary treasures, the passives? I looked this up and I decided it would be fun to do this, but I don't actually even know what they are. Uh, ones like discounts. There's obviously the copy when you play a legendary one, if that's still in there. Uh, there's something else. I can't remember, though. Oops, 0 and 3. Wow, dude. <laughs> we won a game earlier now. Come on. <laughs> it got me a little slack. I actually like Goody much better than Mancrick now. Contest the 4 4. So, yeah, we'll coin Greatsword and go face, I think. It just wins in three turns, right? And then hopefully we high roll the legendary. We did. Uh, we still have Barov and Zola that are low rolls. Everything else is pretty good. Pretty good. Which, you know, we, we, we knew when we built this. We said very clearly, like, hey, we'll low roll sometimes. It's fine. We just like the damage. Summon a copy of Legendary is pretty nice. Yeah, that's the that's the main one. I That's the one I remember. But there's another one, too. Uh, or two of them, maybe, even now, I think. Uh, 
Inspiring presence after you play a legendary, reduce the cost of a minion in hand by one. And maybe that is the only other new one. That's really not that exciting. So <laughs> we'll see. That doesn't really sound that good. We'll figure it out though. It's just a single discount is like not that noteworthy. I feel like that could easily be by two and it would feel totally okay. What I get here will determine... Oh, okay, going face. <laughs> I was going to say, if I get a nice big defensive card, we'll go face. If I get a, you know, Zola or something, I might trade. But uh, between Tyrion and 16 health, I think we'll be fine. Sadly, I am one off lethal with just an attack, so... Knight would be cool to survive, maybe. That would be sick. Put your faith in the light. Even if he overwrites weapon here, it's not the other world, right? It's like, still pushing a ton of damage and consecrations in hand as well, so. Should be okay. <laughs> I think Mrs. Kilburn's home. Mrs. Kilburn, is that you? Seems is not good enough. Man, that weapon is just so insane. Do you think, was it six mana at one point? I feel like it used to be more expensive. Maybe I'm losing it though. I think it's, I think it's actually pretty good that uh, most of the first treasures are good in duels. Like they're still pretty good because they're the ones people get easily. They don't have to unlock a bunch of stuff to get them. That's pretty nice. Let's see, ooh. Uh, discover? We don't have discover at all. I mean, we literally don't have a. We have one discover card, and we got open the doorways. Wow. All together now. Um. Oops, two, three, three four, five, six, seven. But this one's not. So six discounts here. Um, <laughs> three and oh, yeah. We're just gonna stop when we get to three, yeah. I, I don't think I like Crystal Gem enough, right? It's just not that interesting. I think it's gotta be all together now, which is definitely not perfect for our deck, but it's slightly better. Slightly better. Uh, wow. This is a legendary. Pretty good one for our hero power, too. Frankly, just an 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, watch posts. I mean, I don't think these are the right watch posts. This is okay, but I don't love Sunwalker. It's a little slow. I think it is this package. Harvest Home's good off our hero power. It's just a fine tempo play. Quality is fine with Consecration. Just good of trades. Yeah. I would rather have the other on Ixia, of course, but this is okay. Don't, don't, uh, don't love it, but. How is Onyxia good for our hero power? Uh, I don't think it is good for our hero power. So, I, if I said hero power, I meant to say our weapon. Like our treasure, passive treasure, signature treasure, whatever it's called. Is it 8-8 eight, eight off the weapon? Which is better than Azola, for instance. So putting more bigger legendaries in the pool for the weapons is pretty cool. I don't think we'll ever actually play an Onyxia with her battle cry to put whelps in the pool, for the record, for the hero power. I don't think it's a downside because I doubt we'll ever get to that stage of a game. That means we'd get to turn eight with our passive. <laughs> I, mean, I hope we do. It'd be nice if we got that far. That's a good sign for our deck. Okay, good curve again. Yeah, we'll we'll ditch Zola for now. Quality's worse. Priest of quality just won't matter much. This is gonna be very much a race. Oh god. Very much a race. Am I fighting the same people you mean or 
<laughs> it's just like the same opponents over and over again. That's that's high. Ten people playing duels. Wow, they're setting a new record today. <laughs> no, I actually think duels has gained a lot of resurgence this uh, this expansion, from what I could tell at least. Or or maybe that's just people like watching duels, but maybe not playing as much. I'm not sure. But uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, a lot more people seem interested in duels on my channel. Talk about playing duels and you know. They seem to be a little more into it at least. Which is cool. Trevor two, the revenge of Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, oh wow, what a roll! That's so sick, dude. I totally forgot about Trevor. Great memory. Uh, kind of thinking just lights. Jo oh no, I got this weapon. Uh, Redemption's fine then. I don't think I'm playing it right now, but <clears throat> seems okay. Uh, main quick hero power, maybe if something dies here. We got some big pressure. That early Olgra might steal this game. I feel like we'd be really unfavored if not for the uh, extra output here, basically. The extra pressure. Uh, next turn. Cariel's pretty good, because this is a holy spell, so I could play both, as long as there's something to attack. Consecration. Wow, that's not bad. Pretty good spell for them to get, honestly. Helped address the... Oh, hello, Mr. Lotheb. So this will put eight down next turn. Plus the weapon will be 14. I'm putting them at 16. This isn't quite a lethal setup, but it's still very good because it probably shuts down their entire turn and buys me a turn. But I'll be too off lethal with sword. I have so much oh, wow. They actually had a good play to make. Oh, well... Wait, why did that do so little damage? They only have three spells in hand? Oh, that's kind of shocking, I guess, huh? Uh, let's see what we get. They'll maybe decide how I play this out. Mukla. I'm a little bit scared of being dead, right? I know that sounds crazy. Uh, I'm a little scared of being dead, though. Well, I don't know. They need 17 damage with 5 mana, and they only had 3 spells in hand. I guess I'm not that scared. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, because they've got like more Cthulhu stuff, more mid-game stuff, it looks like. If they had a handful of 6 spells, I think I could be dead. But 3 is probably pretty hard to kill me. Mrs. Kilbin looking, looking good today. What's up? What? You want to come on stream today? You look so cute, though. They're gonna love to see you. Oh, you got an apron on. That's funny. I didn't even see that. That uh, that really adds to the appearance. Really adds to the adds to the whole look you got going on. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Jeez. No love here, huh? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Just shame me in front of 500 people. That's fine. No big deal. So just mock me and uh, deride me in front of. There you go. That's what they want to see. That's what they want to see. The hand holding. Oh, look at your fancy watch or whatever that is. Bracelets. Okay. Bye. Time for you to go. Time for you to go. See ya. Okay. Looming presence. <laughs> Looks fine. Uh, interesting legendary. Good for our hero power, actually. This is a pretty nice little bucket. Uh, not so great here, I guess. Not so great here. I think I like this. Looks good. These aren't battle cries, though. I should maybe keep that in mind. Uh, this the is a battle just cry. Dexter just warms the heart. Yeah, just the one battle cry. I think this is still better. This is still better. <laughs> the way he just talks to Dexter. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, that was Dex hopping up here for the basement. I let him out today. Oh my god. <laughs> they said, hey boo. They said the way Reed just talks to Dexter is so wholesome. This <laughs> was that Dexter's hand. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh boy. That's funny stuff. Versus Fireheart. So 
sorcery versus that just mail? What was that? Oh. <laughs> I like it. See you, boo. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a good opener. Most of our good battle cries are three if I want to try to hit those, but I also lose the solid curve here. Actually, this will help me fill in my curve if I want. Yeah, I'm going to greed for like Mancrick and and uh, Mukla. That's not Mancrick and Mukla. That's Rag and, Rag and Tar. Okay, plays, plays, plays. Yeah, okay. Still need to hit a three drop. Mukla and Mancrick, let's go. Let my greed be rewarded, please. I'll take a shield and mini bot. I'll take a Knight of Anointment. I'll take a Righteous Protector. Glad they used coin. That might make this actually matter more. Bear off, huh? Yeah, I think we will take the bear off. That's fine. Just contests early. Don't want to get too fancy on it, right? Makes them think about it. Gives me a button if nothing else, right? Oh, they missed damage. Could have gone face for one. Yeah, I like the button now, though. Contests again. It's really nice. Yag as well. Cool. Lotheb on four is probably going to be worse than Rome on four. Because I just don't know how much spell interaction will be happening, right? Okay. It's not the end of the world. Got some damage through. Ouch. That may be the end of the world. Yikes. Don't love that. Lotheb technically can test better on board, but I can tear him for that next turn as well. Like, if they ignore this and go face, I can just tear him and trade, right? It's not great, but it's not bad. Yeah. Too much tempo. Gross. Oh, dying, dude. Oh, should I try to play these together? Can I? I can't leave 10 damage on board, though, right? It's too much. Yeah, it's okay. Ungirl. Mike tried to use a spell to get through this right, and then we maybe gain some advantage off Omayog. Finally. Uh, 16's not a lot. I have Looming Presence and Rag to potentially heal up, though, so if we can get to that point, we might be okay. Especially if they, like, overcommit. Oh, that looks like a Omayog, yeah. Do something that kills your own minions. Please. Please. Oh, well, okay. That's fine, I guess. Oh, that's less fine. That's not good. I actually need this to hit my face. No, oh, they get six through now. Shoot. Okay. Gonna really have to trust Righteous Protector here. Nixia, gross. Do I ever take another Righteous Protector? Like instead of Mancrick or Hero Power, what does Hero have? It has it has Terum, which is like sort of okay. Barov is not really very useful. Next turn, I'm probably gonna want to play a Protector. I guess I could do. Oh well, no, I couldn't do that next turn. Take another Lotheb. The only problem is I'm just going to die on board, uh, right? Like, this is already 6 and 5 is 11. So they don't... Plus this, right? They don't really need... Spells to beat me. If I don't... If I don't stabilize the incoming face damage, spells are irrelevant, really. They don't need anything extra. I mean, I might just be dead here, honestly. Because uh, their hero power is dealing... Uh, what... Theoretically, six per hit. Hero power plus attacks, right? So that's 12. If they don't hit... Oh, that's just lethal, yeah. That's... Well, yeah, that's guaranteed. Because one lightning bolt goes face, always. Hmm. I see yeah. you've done your Ouch. Brutal. Brutal. 
That was tough. We needed like two more turns. Even then it was gonna be close, but needed at least two. Huh. I guess it's probably gotta be Rally since we have Battle Cry stuff. Uh, we don't have as much as I'd like, but we have a few. We have enough to maybe make it worth. Cadgars, we just don't have any spells. From the Swamp, I don't even know if I'm that good at killing stuff, right? So it'd be pretty hard for that to start stacking up. I think it's just Rally. Now we really for sure wanna push Battle Cries as much as we can, right? These are both battle cries. These are all three battle cries, which are actually pretty good. Like, I don't really care if I'm holding a dragon for Night Pain Templar, right? Who cares? It's just a two mana draw a discounted card now. Same for Bookworm, but I do have some dragons, so we might still have some dragons on occasion. Adding a couple here. Have already on Ixia. So yeah, I think this is much better than this. It's close, but this is just a higher value card. They're all three kind of better than, like these are situational. The silence is good, I guess, but the merchant's not. And this is three versus two battle cries. Okay. We didn't get a legendary treasure at all though. Sad, we, we built for legendaries and got nothing for legendaries. That happens though. That's typical duels fair. The idea of this run is to get 12 wins. Yes, as is the case with every every time I play anything, the idea is to never lose. I don't want to lose a single game. It's always the goal. The light has forsaken you. All right. Uh Yeah, it's a good turn too, honestly. I don't need the dragon, like I said, just keep the uh, rally the troops rolling, right? Oh, perfect, I got the dragon even. <laughs> wow, what a sick opener, oh my god. Sticky fingers, oh, I wanna get legendary loot so bad. That's so cool. I've never been offered this. I don't know what you do to get it. You have to run weapon upgrade stuff. He just got an Allen F for free. At the start of the game, he's drawing three cards every turn now for free. That's so sick to me. I feel like that's so good. I mean, I guess it runs some like fatigue risk here, to be honest, but. Armor made to fit. The power Still seems so nuts. Gonna have just an outrageous amount of choice, right? Cheap on Nixia. Oh, she would have procked herself there, I think. That's cool. So decent tempo. Uh, we got some good follow-up here, too. Bronze into galloping. Our hero power is kind of busted now, but that's okay. We don't really need it. Wow! Heroic strike on the Alanet. That's cool. I love it. Oh my god, yeah. See, they're going to start burning cards already. Okay, this is actually going to be active. That's cool. Oh, Wicker Flames. Nice. Twilight Drake's going to be cheap, too, and cycle again. Yeah. This is awesome. Uh, I know that there's this thing alive, but whatever. For now, I'm just going to leave it. We might uh, kill it with a bookworm or something later. Who knows? He doesn't run fatigue risk all that much. He can override it with another weapon. That's true. But there are quite a yeah, few. Yeah, if he has if he has a weapon in his like deck, which a warrior very well might. Isn't very useful. Welcome. Boy, Skull would be bad. What are the other legendary weapons? I guess probably most of them are good, right? Skull's bad. Oh wow, he's burning. Oh my god, explore and guru. That's sick. I'm trying to think what else is in there. Can't remember all the legendary weapons off the top of my head. Savior might proc if he's trying to dump cards here. Uh, Ignis, do you think it's the 18 months? Oh, what was that? Battle Rage. <laughs> Definitely don't need a Battle Rage right now, that's for sure. <laughs> There's the override, finally. It took him to four mana. Yeah, that. I wonder if that was more of a liability or not. I think you're happy to have a full hand. You don't expect the game to go to fatigue anyway, right? So... 
think you're probably happy to have the full hands. The Take a free Mukla. It's not bad. Hey, Ben Jim Jam, dude, thanks for the eight months. Oh, Sphere of Sapiens is a legendary. Yeah, that would be pretty bad, actually. Well, not that bad, I guess, really. Wouldn't have the output of, like, Rune Spear or something, right? Uh, like, the Druid weapon would be really cool if you could overwrite that. That would be OP. Rune Spear seems good. The legendary uh, warrior weapon, the recruit weapon, seems pretty good. Woe Cleaver or whatever it was. There's some good rolls. feel like you could steal games occasionally with that. Am I actually going to play on Anixia? Let's see what we roll off weapon, right? Oh, uh, we have 10, 12. Might actually just have, like, a better play here. Maybe we want to use this before on Xeer, right? We're getting really close setting up lethals anyway. Next turn, I'll have eight and a board clear now, too. Okay. Dragon Soul. Oh, yeah, Dragon Soul would be tough. For some decks in particular, yeah. Can can you get... Like, I don't know what encourages you to get legendary loot. Like, do you need stuff like Heroic Strike and, like, Upgrade or something that's, like, weapon synergy? I mean, Heroic Strike's not really a weapon synergy, but, you know, attack-based. Could could a mage get legendary loot just randomly? If you don't have anything else going on? Because I'd love to force that one. I think it'd be really fun to play with. We have six and six is 12. Okay. Could you imagine spell priest rolling dragon soul though? Oh yeah, priest. <laughs> yeah, duels priest with dragon soul would be insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. On turn one. Oh my god, they're already insane. Crap. Uh, you guys kicked off a hype train, but I really gotta pee. I'll be right back. Oh my god, those are some fun picks. I'll be right back. Give me thirty seconds. H -Y -P Carry the hype train, I guess, while I'm peeing. But I'll be right back. Wow, Hype Train rolling. Uh, Heretic with 700 bits. Thank you. Uh, what do you guys like? I actually sort of want to goof around with Overpowered. Like, uh, you know, just even just like an extra any random legendary, right? Grimmer Patreon's not really that good for us. I mean, it's pretty good off our hero power, I guess, but that's about it. Banana Split's kind of fun, but... I don't think it's that crazy. Most of the stuff would be really exciting, but it's kind of expensive. Put your sort of thinking Overpower is the most fun here. Heretic! Oh my god, 1,000 bits! Put your faith in the P. Yep, that's uh, That's a great life uh, lesson. Great motto. <laughs> Uh, hey, happy couch day. Oh my god, thanks for the 11 months. Welcome. Hey, Heretic, whoa, five gifted subs carrying the hype train by yourself. Amazing. Congrats to Doriner, BMC Star Champ Helio, uh, and Muffin Man and Ham Smart with three months. Tremudius with a thousand bits. My god, the hype train is done. Well. Started anyway. Welcome, boys. Stage Make one is done. Heart, Amazing. Well, uh, oh my God, Mist Guno with five gifted subs. Miss Guno eight. Sub Whoa, this is a crazy hype train actually. Yo censored. Uh, grats to Atobe Hunter Kakaduan. D -d -d Dude, stuffed pigeon and Joker. Unreal. Thank you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome. Sub check. <laughs> it worked earlier. I'm gonna take overpowered. I think it has the most shenanigan potential. It's it's kind of awkward. Like it's only good late, late, late in the run, but I I like it. It's a good cheap battle cry, which I like a lot. But these aren't great. These aren't great. These aren't great. Man. Guess I take this for the cheap battle cry, but I kinda hate the rest of this bucket. Primal Fin in particular is really hard for us to use. Welcome, boys. Ugh. Make some room by the hearth, won't ya? Knight's really strong though. Draws Welcome, two cards, discounts. Make some room by the it's the only good cheap battle cry because all three of these are terrible Welcome, buckets. 
I think I think Harson doesn't know what to make of our deck right now, which I can't blame it because neither do I. Oh my God, Steely Thunder with five gifted subs. What? Level two hype train finished. Grats super hacks. Javi Brador, Swedish guy Megason and Derp Dog, and Heretic with the five hundred bits again. Ah, uh, certainly my throat's hurting a lot. I mentioned this earlier on stream for those who weren't here. Got sort of a sore throat thing going on this weekend, and. Uh, <laughs> it's acting up while trying to keep up with this hype train. <laughs> so my apologies if I'm not, if I can't quite talk as loud as I'd like. Can't keep the hype rolling on my end as much. Uh, nicely seasoned Min Balls is back. <laughs> Did you see that you made it into a YouTube video? I love that I had to say nicely seasoned Min Balls on YouTube like three times. <laughs> uh, I thought it was pretty amusing personally. Uh, did I just get another five get this up from Steely Steely Thunder? Am I, I can't tell. This thing's catching up. It's weird. Either way, thanks guys. A thousand bits from Minballs. Level two complete. Let's kick off this game. I feel like my alerts stopped alerting. Why aren't they making sounds anymore? I think you guys broke alerts. Catch up cheered a hundred bits, but it didn't make a sound. Huh. <laughs> Minballs says I'm famous. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. Alert stopped working. Weird. I didn't. I didn't mute it like I do sometimes. It just stopped working. Testing. Strange. That made sound to me. Strange. Oh yeah, that worked. I don't know. Weird. Okay, Mukla's actually really good. Discounted. Do we keep great sword? It's been hard carrying. I have coin. I think so. Yeah, Muku will fill in the gaps early, get us some strong tempo, so. Oh, Brightwing's really good, too. Oh, wow, all three of these are good. I think I'll open with Templar on coin, then. Uh, while Brightwing's in hand, right? That'll be sick. Okay. Yeah. Hello, is it working now? <laughs> it is working. Thanks, Eric, for the 500 bits. Man. Oh, my God, Miss Guno with another five gifted subs. That's ten. Thank you, Miss Guno. Oh my God, they're tier two subs. What? Welcome. Oh my God. I gotta hold up. Let me play real quick. I'll get back to that. Yeah, this is good. While we got this in hand. Also, just max stats for Lambor. Ooh, that's strong too. Wow. This is a powerful opener. Do we go Mukla on two or Brightwing on two? Uh, I think Mukla to like get bigger pushes, right? They're just attacking for quest. Okay. Test. That's pretty slow. Mukla will really help deny that too. So that's nice. Oh my god. Grats to Canius, Kaka Kakare, Stun Gun, Fill in the Blanks, Your Girl Z. Tier 2 subs. That's crazy. That Miss Guno with a bomb. A uh. Heretic with 500 bits. Trimudis, I actually haven't seen that video. It sounds like a good one though. Heretic with another 500 bits. Man, guys, thank you. Now we play Mukla. Ooh, cheap bear off. Not something I can play now, unfortunately. Would rather this have been a Mancrick or something, right? Mancrick would have been very nice. Would have been amazing. Oh my god, another set of gifted subs from Heretic. Grats to Losty Drew, Toasted Almonds, Jarmo, Valanis, and Jaegerbomb. Tier three hype train complete. Actually insane. Thank you guys. Let's. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get tier four, and that's not a bait. Like I just like, let's cool the jets. That's certainly more than enough love. Thank you everybody. Save your subs and bits for the, for the next stream you watch. I'm absolutely stunned by the tier three. So thank you. Okay, that's really slow. Yeah, I think we just go Brightwing and then Goody probably, right? The question is how hard do we push face versus how hard do we... Um... Wow. Versus how hard do we trade? Uh, They have armor gain, I know, so I think trading a little bit makes sense. Just go that route to deny any value trades and then still push a little face, right? Basically, make sure this dies on the. Don't let it kill the two three, and then make it awkward, right? Just, just make sure it's even up on board at least. 
Okay, I like that. Uh, hey, afternoon, Vox Populate. Where's me? Thanks for the hundred bits. Wow. Thanks again. And the ocean dropping in some bits too. Oh, that kind of sounded like drop in the ocean. That's fun. <laughs> it was unintentional, but fun. Ooh, that might actually help because they might have wanted to trade into this anyway. Oh, that doesn't help. That's a good value trade now. Suddenly, ooh, gross. Not enough love here. Still gonna go face? Wait, what? Oh, oh, the hero power here. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> what? Excuse me, sir. Uh, so this isn't that good. This makes it cheaper. Cariel trade is kind of weird, but this is a holy spell at least. This will have only Brightwing in it or Goody Two Shields, I guess. Uh, no two drop or one drop yet, right? No. Yeah, this is kind of a sad turn, honestly, all things considered. Oh my god. That is the craziest gifted sub bomb. Five gifted subs from Miss Guno that are all tier threes. What? Oh my god, Miss Guno. Tier three gifted subs and TP on my PP as well with the 10 butts. Thank you, TP on my PP. I like to say the funny names at least three times. TP on my PP. Uh, and 10,000 bits. From nicely seasoned min balls. Oh my god. Level four hype train actually complete. What? Five tier three subs. I've never seen that in my life, Mosquito. That's crazy. Um, uh, we could have traded Mukla to try to res. Uh, there's all those whelps in the pool, though. I don't know. Which, by the way, do make rally better, which is cool. I forgot about those. Uh, I'm just going to go face here, probably, right? Let's see what we get. I mean, it could change things. Maybe we value trade or something, but. Oh, that is pretty weak. Ooh. Ooh. I maybe hit here then. Yeah. Let's see. If I deal nine, they're at seven health. I actually don't have a lethal without a minion on board, so I'll trade a little. Just make this really nice and cheap now. Real low roll there, unfortunately, though. Um... Yeah, again, nicely seasoned min balls with 10,000 bits. Shrewdies with 100. Holy moly, guys. Level 4 hype train is done. That's so nice, everybody. Thank you so much. I I feel like I'm... I, I, I got a sore throat, so I can't... I'm, I'm like... I'm really excited. I just feel like I, I don't want to, like, talk or exclaim too loudly. Uh, I don't want to hurt my throat too much. Uh, but that's really, really nice, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, crazy random stream just... Awesome generosity is so cool. Thanks, Twitch, for making subs cheaper for once, by the way, too. Shout out, Twitch. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Captured flag is so good with this. We have eight here. Uh, is this lethal? No, right? It's uh, it's only ten. Should I go for it, though, because it sets up lethal and gives me defensive utility? Uh... Let's see what we draw first. Does that change anything? I don't think so. Oh, Tyrion's is really good though. Yeah, I think we'll have plenty of, of uh, defensive utility here. Just really, really make them push through all this stuff. Stegadon's like so much defensive, they don't have a silence. Uh, I don't think I'll be dead usually ever here with the double taunt. I'd be a little more nervous without the Tyrion of like shenanigans, like a silence and a whatever savage or something. But with Tyrion and the Stego, I think we'll be okay. And then, of course, Weapon just becomes a real threat if they don't. Uh... Armor up for 8 anyway. <laughs> That's okay. Armor up for 14 anyway. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Got more work than I thought coming in here. Tyrion's actually going to be bad now because I'll get a worse weapon. Still a weapon, thankfully, but a little worse. Hey. Yeah, kind of a clunky turn for me now. Hero power is probably going to be great now moving forward. This is still inactive somehow. This I could go for, honestly, if I want. Just get a board. 
Did I have a two drop yet? No, still no two drop. I need to get this in then. This is seven. Okay. Yeah, taunt's a taunt. Gotta worry about guff now. Soon. Not yet, of course, but soon. This game's not over yet at all. Um... Barov and then Taunt? You guys liked Barov on that board? You mean Taunt the Barov or Taunt something else? Sorry, I wasn't reading that until late. I, I don't know, I think saving Barov for when I'm like totally behind feels better to me, but... Not a crazy idea, I guess. Barov here, for instance, feels very good, I think. So I play this here, uh, then I can't Consecration now, so I have to do this on its own. Ugh. Consecration, please. Oh god, Tarim's even worse. This is unreal, dude. Actually unreal. Wait on, wait on this till next turn. Oh, hey, nice, Rag. Good job, buddy. Okay, I used the Ragnigo face, of course, because I chipped through seven armor, so it's still, you know, a net advantage there, as opposed to hitting a 1-1. One -one. Um, I think we'll be okay. We got good reloads with Overpowered Rally if I need it, because Minibot will die here, presumably, or I can kill if I want, and then, then Rally's pretty nuts. I don't actually know what my one drop is, a whelp, I guess. Yeah, whelps and then mini bots and whatever random three drop we have, a million. Uh, 10 mana force of nature, oh my god. Uh, wow, he sniped it and didn't get to attack. <laughs> oh no, so what do I have, 18, uh, 23, 26, uh... No extra damage here or here, right? Does this ever find extra damage? Consecration. Uh, this can hit Consecration, which would deal quite a bit of extra damage. Olgra as well. Actually, Consecration could be lethal now if it hits it. What does it hit? Oh, it did hit Consecration. Okay, so uh, this deals four now. What did I say I had? 18, 22, 25. I think I'm one off though, shoot. I think I'm one off unless I find something here. Still good to clear the board right, but I think I'm one off. This doesn't add damage. This doesn't add damage, shoot. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, one off, shoot. Okay. I didn't miss any damage there, did I? Tarim didn't do any extra because everything would have got debuffed, not not buffed. Greedy rag healing itself, dude. What a jerk. Yeah, I think I think I did max there, but something off bless goods if there was like a buff, I guess. Is there any buff possible? No, I don't think so. I love that I played this, so you can't even attack with this weapon. <laughs> I don't think it matters, but um, you can't even attack. Like, if he gets a guff, right? Like, well, I guess if he gets a guff, he'd armor up. He could attack. That, that'd be fine. Da -da -da. Starfall's not bad. So your whole mana, though. I just have to hit, right? That's why I grabbed the, I literally grabbed the Light's Justice because I was like, well, I know I, theoretically I need one more damage and sure enough, that made the difference. Wow. <laughs> Light's Justice OP. Better than his idiot twig. That's for sure. Okay, this run's wild, dude. This is a wacky run. Uh, Princess is actually not bad. She's a battle cry. Do we have good death rattles in our deck? Tyrion's not bad. Uh, Barov is a death rattle. Not great, though. I guess we don't really have that many good death rattles. The Harvest Golem. It's not bad, though. 
Primal Fin Champion could be one that's kind of bad, I guess. I just like that she's a battle cry, but six mana is a lot. Does she count as a legendary? Does she count as a legendary for the weapon? She's got the banner thing, but no gem. I don't know how this one works. Usually legendary is if, it's, it's if you have the banner. So that's actually not terrible to get a 7-6, even if her battle cry whiffs. I mean, she's six mana, right, with Rally. Not a great six mana play, but not a bad one. Do I just like Looming Presence better? I feel like I have enough card draw because of Rally that this is not that necessary. I have healing, too, a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to take Princess, actually. That's crazy. Uh, before I do, though, guys, again, thank you for the just absolutely bonkers tier four hype train. Uh, just, man, crazy bits and subs and tier three gifted subs and just like absolute absurdity thank you everybody for being so supportive uh always greatly appreciated i'm barely hanging in there today i feel like but <laughs> doing my best doing my best uh level four hype chain emote thanks twitch all right we'll take princess debatable for sure but not bad uh, these are the highest quality cards, but they're not synergistic. This is one good synergy with another Spite Historian. It's a good, cheap battle cry. These aren't very synergistic either. Uh, Talritha, I mean, we have some dragons, but I don't think we have enough to really make this feel good. I, I think it's actually just the quality here that makes this better. Call to Arms is pretty sweet for us. We have some good two drops and stuff. Some good sticky, annoying Divine Shield stuff. This is good for our hero power. We got some rally action. It's not bad. Hey, Lee Rondile, dude. Thanks for the tier one sub. Uh, oh, and also says, wanted to give you my contribution as I am truly enjoying your videos on mercenaries. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, they're not very popular, to be honest, but I think they're useful anyway. They might get more popular over time, too, as... People learn more about mercenaries and are curious about it and stuff. Swimming Blizzard tells us more. <sighs> yeah, I just wish these had battle cries. I think I'll take this, but I really am sad that it's not battle cries. I want to increase battle cry density, not decrease it. Uh, if that other one had any two battle cries, I would definitely have taken it. Hearthstone's freaking out again. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm a bot. I don't think I did, but oh, I don't need to. It's assuming it works, and like the previous time, um, I just they, they automatically get collected. It's good. You're good to go. Uh, hey, backed pine. Oh my god, thanks for the uh tier one sub through June. Whoa, first I was like, oh, June, that's like this month, and then I was like, no, wait, it's August. June is next year. Holy crap, backed pine. Thank you. Whoa, 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 don't concede, don't concede, bro. Yeah, these are too slow. We want uh, cheap battle cries. I think our best turn one is what? Knight of Anointment. Draw two cards. Get some cheap rally action cycling. Ooh, mirror match. I feel like it. Oh my god, yes. That may have saved this game. I was gonna say I think we're screwed if we don't uh, hit a good play. Uh. Yeah, let's take Hammer. At the moment, I don't have a good play, so... Hammer might fill in a gap here. Keep me alive for a bit. It is April 2004. <laughs> yeah, it honestly feels like about 2013 to me. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still 2013. <laughs> if I had to pick a day it was, I would say 2013. Mini bots are fine. Basically, the last eight years have flown by, so. His deck definitely feels like it's going to be tighter, like a lot more battle cries, tighter pirate synergy, right? Our deck's not really synergistic in and of itself. We just threw a bunch of random cards together and called it a day, right? I don't mind that he's trading down. That just makes my hero power better, right? I basically get hero power value. I'm not going to take it because it's a 50-50, but... 
I hope I hit like a good battle cry. Um, I mean, this one's fine. I need to get a playable card off of it though. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Okay, love Lothab on four. Particularly if he hasn't used the bananas yet, right? That'll be nice. <clears throat> Welcome, boys. He might use bananas to trade into this, though. Who knows? Need him to take a non-battle cry turn. Oh, nice. Yeah, both up here looks good. Oh, wait. Never mind. Scratch that. Okay. Their hand is full. They're going to burn. Not that it matters. Gonna burn twice, actually. Yeah. Shoot. Well, it's a good card to get rid of, I think, for us. I'm. I don't want him having brooms for sure. Yep. Yeah, okay. We'll save this to proc another easy rally, right? I don't need it right now. So, Dread Corsair is a good burn, probably. Yeah, it's free for him soon. Or very cheap, anyway. It's kind of has to play minions here. No spells, obviously. Uh. Oh, whoa. That's a great minion to trade here. Woo! Scary stuff. Major pressure incoming. Uh. Okay, my rally has Knight, Mini Bot, but no 3 drop, right? No, Mukla, actually. Oh, man, Rally's pretty good here, then, isn't it? Rally's actually nuts. It has Mukla at 3. Mini bot at two and knight at one. And I can still play another knight too. Let's do that first, I guess. I don't consecration ever, do I? I don't think yet. I think this is fine for now. We're not like taking so much damage that we're worried about it or anything. Just go for tempo, right? <clears throat> okay. Uh, Princess next turn is hitting what? We lost Harvest Golem. We lost Murgurgle. So we've got Champion, which is pretty useless, I'd say. One for me. One for and Tyrion. Tyrion is not bad, but it's not like exciting, I don't think. Hit my one once. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Is Tyrion worth it here just to get a 5-5 weapon? I have another weapon already. It's not a great weapon, though. Bananas, finally. Two bananas, huh? Value trade and then button? Probably. The 2-2. Two -two. He's kind of torn now with, like, Mukla. This is getting a little awkward. I didn't math this out, but I'd, I have a feeling it could have gone better. I don't know. That felt like that wasn't maybe the cleanest way through that mess. But I don't know what was either, so... What can I say? Uh, this is a good combo soon. Could just go here for now, maybe. Just play a Righteous. Maybe value trade the 4-2. Maybe just go face. Rokara is coming down soon, so I'm going to get, like, grinded out of this game before long. Call to Arms is hitting nothing, really, because I've played all my cheap cards already. That's kind of sad. I mean, this draws something, which is cool, I guess. Need to play something, though. I'm going to die. Right wing, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go hard tempo here. Keep falling behind on board. Ooh, I like that a lot. Uh, I think I need to go face more. I think Rokara is going to grind me out of this game long, so I need to create winning conditions, right? It's scary because I'm behind, but I'm going to hopefully use the quality consecration to recover. Maybe Varden as well now. And then I need damage to connect. It's like my big weapon, my Tyrion, something. I feel like we're super far behind them. Hey, Jandis with the four months. Oh my God, I didn't hear that. I feel like the alerts aren't making sounds, but I don't know. Snack pack with 100 bits as well. Thank you, snack pack. Hit the one one. Nice. Is that actually nice? I'm not sure. <laughs> it means a minion gets to attack. Uh, probably nice, but not like that nice. 
Not that nice. Huh. Got a way to answer that? Another Fog Sail Freebooter. How many of the three of these have been played? My God, dude. This guy is a pro at Freebooters. Uh, Tarim's actually not terrible here. I could go like Mergurgle Tarim just to debuff all this stuff, right? Like I could just kill that or whatever. Could go face, frankly. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, I don't feel like it's time for a quality consecration just yet. It feels like this isn't that scary and he's going to start stacking up more and more minions. So yeah, I think I'll just play Tarim for now. Oh, I want to play this first though. Hold up. He's not terrible. What do you mean? You got to go to the bathroom. You can. Who is not terrible? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, Tarim's not terrible. Oh, I got you. I made a, I made a little meme. I hear. I hear you. I don't know if actually killing the Rakara matters much. It could go face. I'm like a little bit. Oh my god! Seriously, what? In, I've never seen. I I've played Juggernaut a thousand times. He got like the ultimate Juggernaut play. He got Captain and, and Goral. So insane with two pirates on board. I mean, thankfully the two damage did hit the Terab to make the Goral feel a little less tiny. But still, uh, the buff matters so much because it trades over Terab now, right? Like there's two value trades. The Goral is obviously insane if, if Terab was at full health too. It's just perfect to answer that board. So I can go carry L because she's cheap into consecration equality at any point, basically. Uh, not that I need to necessarily. Could save the carry L for later too. Uh, I kind of want to take like a Varden turn first though, right? Where I Varden and freeze out their board when it's maybe full even. And then I can get like some chip damage through or something and then equality consecration the turn after, right? But they would need to have a full-ish board. I mean, this is going to summon a thing, so that could help create a full-ish board. Like, if they play one more unit here, I could just Varden and Freeze. Yeah. Oh, it's going face with Gorehal. So insane. So I could just Varden. <gasps> oh my god. I would love to be able to Varden and Burgurgal Prime, but I can't. Um, so I think I just go for max pressure here, right? So Varden plus, like, Cariel and maybe a Bronze Explorer just to draw first. Well, I guess Varden will do that too. Yeah, let's see what Varden draws. Oh, Barrow too. I don't really need that, but fine. Deathwing Dragon Lord? No. Right wing's a cheap battle cry. For the alliance and my so this puts nine on board. I actually don't want to trade here because I want to lock out the board right. If there was something at five health, I could maybe do that, but. Oh, that's a much worse weapon. Okay. That's nice. They can still use this and play one thing. But uh, hopefully that's not too bad. Or spells, of course. Huh, could have killed that if you weaponed it first. Maybe has another spell here to... Oh, okay. Same difference, I guess. Big heals off that life gain guy. That's annoying. Okay. So that's a lot of bombs, unfortunately. It's a pain. Uh, we really didn't get that much tempo out of this, unfortunately, either. Bear off consecration. Man, I'm kind of regretting not using the carry L now, because I could go consecration McGurgle Bear off if I had. But now I can't afford that. It's like I want to get the McGurgle down so bad. 
Uh, like I'm not gonna get as much counter tempo now. I can get a princess down, I guess. There's not that much though. Uh... Oh, true. He does only get one bomb. Yeah, it is going away next turn. That's true. Let's see what we draw. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Oh my. That seems like it's going to be very good for how cheap it is. No. Oh, I like the life gain. Okay. Don't get pinged, please. This is really not a good board, though. Everything's at one health with a bear off on board. This sucks. Yeah, I just... my board oh my god uh. <laughs> the two health and the big and the only thing i had for two. Oh my god does this replay the mcgurgle guys like do i get two battle cries i don't know how this works does anybody know Oh, I can't even do that because this is going to get death rattle to go off. Oh my god. This is going so poorly now. I can equality though and his board will get cleared, which is kind of cool. So that's kind of a bonus. Maybe I just go equality princess and get the Tyrion. Um, I could even go double princess for a big board. I think I'll just do that. I'll just take the two princesses. I don't know if the second one gets death rattles or not. I don't really need it to, because it'll just be the weapon anyway. Doesn't really matter. But I just like the two six sevens. Or I guess seven fives, excuse me. Because of um Great, thank you. Oh, now I don't really need the weapon. I got the great sword. Okay. Does Primal Fin do anything for me? Oh, actually, Spike Ridge Steed, if I got it off the top, would be pretty sweet. Yeah, so this one didn't get the Battle Cry, so. Nor would have the McGurgle, right? Okay. Thank you, Death Spite, for helping clear the board. That was nice of you. Still in a lot of trouble here, though. I'm at 11. I need Rag Light Lord to heal. I have Light Bringer, but I'm going to get these weapons. It's a real shame I got this the exact time i got the princess death rattle oh well that's good to not be in my <laughs> that's actually a great thing to pull out okay if i go for royal greatsword i have zola wicker flame man crick it's still not a rag basically Gar excuse me guaranteed rag or anything uh that's not a bad minion to use your button on i guess How do I flip this board back again, though? So tough. <laughs> Juggernaut's just gonna grind me out. And now another Tyrion, dude. So hit here, I get the weapon. I can hit this, hit here. I'll have taken, I'll be at five. He's got six on board, that just means I'm dead. Unless I hit like a taunt or something. I could go here instead and like value trade. Lightbringers here. Value trade. Then I'm at eight. And he's got seven, but we don't know because this could be more or less later, right? Um, if I do that, I could also play a McGurgle with it, I guess. It's risky though if I don't get rush or taunt off this. So... That's a little spooky. Let's just see, though. I think it's the best play. Just gotta hopefully get Taunt or Rush. Uh, Charge, huh? Press the 
charge doesn't really do much. So let's hope he gets a small weapon or I'm dead, right? Uh, okay, technically. If I don't get hit in the face. Nice, okay. Technically alive. Technically alive. He's at 32, though. How do I win? 14, 17, 18, 24, 27 plus 6. I have 30. I mean, technically, if he doesn't hit anything, I have 33. I sense your what on earth is that? That's spooky. He's obviously going to hit something, though. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Uh... I don't know, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in trouble. You, you can win if he disconnects. It's not even that unlikely in duels or in our stuff. It's a decent chance. Okay. Weird how we made the pirate immune and not the 4-5 for the sake of trading. Oh my god. Uh. Am I dead? Shiver their timbers. I think that means I don't have lethal, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm surprised they make this so you could hit with this one. Oh yeah, chain gang means I definitely don't have lethal. Spike Ridge Steed, though, is kind of cool. Um, Can I hit? Oh, I can hit bomb if I draw. Oh, shoot. Shoot. So I hit here. This is the best way to heal off this because I net one health. Steed on the princess. Do I really want Steed on the princess? Oh, I get it back in hand, but is that really even that good? Well, it might be, but I'd rather just have more health on board though. We gotta, we'll think about it here in a second. Um, yeah, actually that might be the best bet. I need to put a lot of minions out though too because of um because of the ping. Oh, this draws me a card though. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't draw a card. This is plenty of minions, right? Cuz this might hit this might kill me. This could kill me. Don't kill me, please. Nice. Okay. okay. Okay, we're alive. Uh, for now. Uh, that's a pretty bad weapon for him, actually. That's really good. At the moment, anyway. Couldn't have even gone face. Well, that can go face. Uh, but he will need a silence. It's not a silence yet. How much damage do I have on the backswing? Currently enough. Uh... Currently, not always though. Uh oh god. Okay, that's a good roll. He's just drawing, but I it doesn't rem oh that's healing. Is that gonna deny a lethal? Oh god, does that deny a lethal? No, tell me it doesn't. Tell me it doesn't. If he kills Princess Let's see what I have 15, 17 plus 6, I have 23. That denied a lethal. Oh my god, that denied a lethal! Fifteen, seventeen, and six is twenty-three. It's not enough. He's at twenty-six because of this. I think I have to play Tyrion and go face, right? If I get Rag, the problem is it can heal Princess, and then I'm still in the same spot. I could go Wicker Flame plus Royal Greatsword as opposed to Tyrion. I guess that's sort of about the same amount of taunt and a little bit of life gain, and then I can still hit Rag for the 50-50 as well. Yeah, this is a little better. And it's still not a battle cry to draw that bomb. Rag, 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 Rag. Oh, Zola, you idiot. Trading a little here just to... Oh! Oh! No, 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 no,
have killed this. Ah! Oh no. I think I'm okay anyway, but still very sad. Shame we lost the Divine Shield here. That cost me a lot of healing. Oh, so sad. Oh, he's on fatigue? Oh crap. I didn't even realize his deck was empty. Wow. Uh, Spyglass? That's not that scary. Tyrion's annoying if he gets it, I guess. That looked like some kind of heal or something. Oh, I'm so sad I didn't attack with this. Ah! Oh, crap! Oh, Gnomish Army Knife. Oh, no, am I dead now? I feel like I'm dead now, right? Oh, no, I feel like I'm dead. That's too much damage, isn't it? Yeah, I'm super dead, right? Because I didn't kill the 4-4. Oh, my God. I'm dead because I didn't kill the 4-4. Oh, actually, it didn't matter. He had it anyway. Just because he got the good weapon. <sighs> oh, if I'd gotten Rag and it hit face, and I'd killed the 4-4, I think it would have been okay. But I obviously didn't need to kill the 4-4, so that's getting a step ahead of ourselves. Uh, yeah, two battle cries here is pretty nice. This is good. Oof. Oof. Big damage on that Arcanite, man. Yeah. Maybe I just had to play Battlecry too, like playing around Bomb that hard. Maybe it hurt me, but I, I don't know. We only had four cards left, so Bomb was like a 25%er. I don't think we should have played a Battlecry. The odds of getting to the useful were slim, and the odds of drawing a death were pretty high. Okay, yeah, Cold Arm's actually really good this early when we still have two drops. So, oh my god, I thought I was going to draw all my two drops. <laughs> I did actually get the best one. I mean, I don't really need Primal Fin or Nether Spite, but I could, I could still hit Mergle, Minibot, and Primal Fin. That'd be pretty sick. I guess I can get some Knights too, which isn't great though. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't even keep this. It's so bad, I think, in hindsight. Oh my god, it's gotten worse. Okay. I think we won't play this now. It's pretty sad. Probably just stick to the normal game plan now. Theoretically, if I don't have anything else to do, it's still worth it, right? But, oh my god, I just keep drawing all the good two drops. What on earth? <laughs> just, I just drew every good two drop. Now it's just utter garbage. Because now it's like knights and these idiot battle cries. The historian and primal finish do nothing. All the good tempo two drops are gone. Jeez, what a low roll, man. What a freaking low roll, dude. All right. We're just going. I'm still going to play it, I think. It's kind of sad, though, because the knights are really, really good to draw. Maybe I don't play it. I'd rather just hero power mini bot or something. Yeah. I think we just don't play it. I hate these hero powers, by the way. Like, these crazy divine shield things. Passives are so hard to deal with. Oh, God. He punished hard, too. Good God. Hard punish. Because these just get so big now. Like, this is so impossible to beat. I hate this every time. Uh... This has a top hat too. Like I can't, I can't win. There's no way to win. I, I think I literally cannot win. Uh. I actually think I can't win. I don't know how to win. Cause as soon as I kill this, I, I, it's gonna top hat, it's gonna buff other stuff. Like I just, there's no, I can't go face hard enough. His hero power is just stacked. I just don't think I can win. I don't know. This is not good obviously, but it's what we got. So we're gonna make it work. Well 
remember that it gets buffed if I kill it, so I can't actually. I don't know. This is bad, though, because now my Barov just kills my stuff. I guess I needed to kill this one. I could have hit here and here and killed this one. Um, because now he can trade and replay a Divine Shield and get new Divine Shields. Like, this is just so impossible to beat. Uh, I think I'm screwed, right? This is kind of cool at five, but what am I going to hit? Face? Oh, he didn't take the Divine Shield refresh, though, at least. Okay. It's actually good. That's handy. You got some nice buffs, I guess, but... No refresh. But I still just can't beat these. Like, what am I supposed to do? Can I ever just go face? No, not really. Not realistically. Spike Ridge. Hit here. Hit here, actually. May the light grant you peace. Oh, equality is actually pretty cool. He might have given me a little out by not refreshing the Divine Shield on these. I, I don't know. It depends on if he has another Divine Shield handy or not. But if he starts to run out of gas a little bit, I, I might just be able to kind of tank through this. Um, oh, that, that guarantees you a Divine Shield minion. So I'm surprised he didn't open with this. Why not open with this and then try to get something playable? Because now it might be too expensive to play. You just spent two mana here, right? I don't know. Could have refreshed one of these for the great trade. We must cleanse. These both value trade anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's not to take the value trade. Forgot about the second half, maybe? They had a they had a double value trade there if they wanted it. I don't know. Interesting play so far. Uh May the light. Oh, great sword might be a way out of this mess. If I can get some high rolls here. Let the dead rest. Press the attack. I need like Tyrion. Good job, Tyrion. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to give them nanners, right? Okay, that's good. Good job, Tyrion. You did it, buddy. Hey, the Coltion, dude. Thanks for the tier one sub and an Ocelot with the tier one sub as well. Wow, guys. Thank you. So many subs today. Jeez Louise. Like crazy gifted subs. Crazy, crazy subs. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So Brightwing wasn't the role we're looking for, sadly. But we're still in the game. I, uh, shockingly, I think we're kind of even almost. They kind of lost their Divine Shield thread here a little. Although that helps. Hit the 3-2, hit the please. Hit the 3-2. Yeah. That's gross. Still trading, though, which I like. I guess they want to proc the thing, of course, but I can live with it. Um, can I take nine? Unfortunately, Rag Light Lord can hit the shielded mini-bot here. Equality, I don't really have a good follow-up for. I don't love giving them nanners. I think I have to take nine, sadly. Uh, I don't really love giving them a Gurgle Prime either, but it is what it is. Uh, snack Pack takes the 100 bits. I mean, can I ever go face? I hit for 8 or 19. No, I, I just lose like that. No. Let's just see what happens here. Something good, please. Cariel. Interesting. Kind of quality now to clear the, the... Oh, the top hat. I am so sick of this freaking top hat, dude. Um, Let's just chill. I'm actually not that scared by the 7-7 seven seven right now. It's just one dude, right? Hoping for the righteous protector here, but so be it. Uh, it clears my 5-5, five, five, but that's fine if I'm not taking the face damage. I'm, I'm chill with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I need to kill this top hat chain, dude. It's been going forever. Everything is so buffed. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> don't have a good play, please. No Tyrion. Oh, my God. Equality's fine here, though. That's okay, actually. Yeah, equality here is nuts. Um... 
Well, not that nuts, I guess. Oh, wait, do I have any lethals with that? Let's see, at 24, I've got 10, 13. I needed 9 damage, 11 damage. I definitely don't have 11 damage, so that's not a lethal. Uh, so quality problematically, though, is not that good because of the Divine Shield. Like, I'll have to face tank. Does anything fix that? Not really, right? Ugh. So I should just focus on killing what I can kill. Maybe top hat the the Yeti. It's going to be at 11. Against me. Okay. I hope I'm not dead here. Oh, actually, I can do this to stay alive for sure. Oh, and that. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so this trade happens. Oh, maybe I shouldn't play this when I get the Wicker Flame, actually. I wanted the weapon, so I'm kind of on board for it, but... Hmm. Maybe just giving him a better trade, you know? Oh, that's actually really annoying for my current... <laughs> for my current board state. Ah, crap. I mean, surely you just kill the 6-6, six, six, right? I want to heal off Wicker Flame, so I probably trade everything else. Oh, Blessing Kings. Yikes. Okay. Oh, Grimmer Patron, too. Good God, dude. This guy just doesn't seem to slow down, does he? I need... I need that bear off. I don't have... any longer... That goes to seven, so I can hit with Wicker Flame, hit for seven, kill a Grimmer Patron, rag up to heal, but I leave out a Patron. I don't know if I have a choice, though. Let's see if this finds anything really interesting. I don't know what it would be, but I think I can just afford it. No problem right now. Also got a Tyrion. Okay, Sleepy Dragon for later might be pretty cool. Okay, I hate that I'm not healing off this, but it is what it is. This goes to seven, so I just kind of have to. This has some pretty good minions in it. I think I'm going to do this and rag Light Lord, right? And then I'll just heal a bunch. And he's like out of cards. I mean, I'm still taking 13, potentially, right? But I should be alive, hopefully. And then maybe have enough minions left to trade into the Grimmer Patrons with my face or whatever other stuff I get. Okay. Don't be something insane. It's not that insane. It's fine. Well, I guess it's kind of insane. They're getting copied, so... If they get to find shield, I'm going to be really screwed. <laughs> he's going to have to kill the Rag Light Lord, right? Which means I guess he's probably going to give that a hat. I would trade here and then trade here to pa pass over the hat. So he's got two hats copied up, you know? He might button first, though, and accidentally give the hat to the wrong minion. I don't know. We're, 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 we're turning the corner here a little bit, though, because I also just kind of have lethals soon, maybe, if things go really well, right? Oh, Tyrion, what a draw to get. He does risk losing the hat, though. On this, anyway. But maybe you want it on the Tyrion anyway. Because Tyrion's just so much bigger. So Tyrion's a 10-10. Which I don't think I can kill very easily. 5, 8, 9. No, currently I can't actually kill it at all. So let's play a cheap Alucry and try to find something here. Face the heirs of magic. Zola. Zola on Knight? Does that ever give me... um? Consecration? Sometimes. But I currently don't have board space to play it. I'll have to... Trade in the knight. 
Or the Brightwing, maybe. Let the dead rest. Is Consecration here even good is another question. I don't even think it's that good. If I had overpowered, it would be good. Currently, it's not even that good. It just lets me kill Tyrion only and then leave up. I'm just dead. Yeah, this is not a good play. I'm just dead to this play. Because he has 19 coming back. Yeah. Unless I hit a taunt here, I guess. No, I did hit a taunt. Uh, am I still dead? No, he's got nine that we can see. But I mean, I can't swing it back. There's just no way. I don't know what the play was there. Maybe try to find a Tarum instead. Oh, that's lethal. That'll do it. Man. Didn't really feel like there was a way out of that. I don't know what, if there was a way, I don't know what it was. I, I don't know, maybe playing that weapon the turn I got the Wicker Flame was wrong. It wasn't like inherently wrong or anything, but it felt like maybe that wasn't the best follow-up because I gave him that 6-6 six, six kind of for free almost. Like that didn't feel that good. It felt like, honestly, the the opponent lost some opportunities too, if I'm being straight. Like I think they could have like could have gone even harder. It seemed like they missed some opportunities and we still got wrecked. So I don't know. I don't think the deck had it, you know? Huh. Okay, double florist and rats. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Cool. So much stuff. Arsenal became an, uh, an auto clicker game. I just gotta go click achievements all the time now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play this. Uh, we're gonna move over to standard. I'm gonna play this. Uh, oh my god. It's We're three hours into the stream. Holy crap. I did not realize that. Um. It's okay. We're gonna. Um, Shoot, I lost my deck. Ah, shoot, I gotta go soon. That Those runs took way longer than I thought for a couple bad runs. Man. Why did those take so long? What happened? Those took forever. I thought we were like an hour into the stream. We're three hours in. I don't, I just don't even know how. It's crazy. All right, somebody played this deck to number one legend. Or I don't know, you never know these things, right? Like it, it was played at number one legend. That doesn't necessarily mean they used it to get some run legends. There's always bait tweets like this and stuff, but uh, regardless, it looks like a really cool deck, and it's capable of winning at number one legend at least. So that is worth something. Uh, it's from this person. I don't know how to read these characters, unfortunately, so we'll do our best. But there you go. Uh, it's basically, uh, Evolve Shaman, as you can see with, like, Box Mind Knuckles and stuff, but it's got the Yasharaj combo in here as well with, um, Dunk Tank. It's not like the full Yasharaj OTK we did, um, like, day one of the expansion, if you remember, we did, like, the crazy Yasharaj Dunk Tank, uh, OTK with Bolner. But it has a possibility to Bolner Bloom Yasharaj into dunk tanks and play like pit masters or the or the battle cries instead of the uh the healer things and pit master also just happens to be a, a, a decent evolve card but if you anticipate a matchup where you need uh an otk you can actually m kind of muster one together with this list but that's not the prime directive it's still a good evolve deck and then has otk as sort of a backup plan uh i'm actually going to take a pee break real quick and then we'll play this for a little bit and then i'm gonna have to go but uh give me 30 seconds we'll come back we'll play this deck it looks pretty fun
Alrighty. Let's do it. Evolve Shaman. I'm gonna hit number one legend, I think, just like the uh, creator of the deck. I believe. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Ooh, I like this curve. I think we even keep Rust Rod against Shaman too, right? Uh, could hit some Doom Hammer action. Ooh, the hits keep coming. So again, this is in the Evolve Shaman. Played the number one legend, or you know, played at number one legend. You never really know. Can't trust these tweets. But uh, certainly a capable list, it looks like. Also has an OTK backup plan. For anybody who wasn't listening when I described it earlier. Hmm, okay. So you can do Yasharaj, Dunk Tank, Bolner, OTK if you're feeling real spicy about it. That is unfortunately a disastrously good answer to us. Watch post here doesn't feel great. Maybe should have just hero powered and held for the Knoll next turn. I kind of like that idea. Because Noel's such a good trade on that 2-5. Maybe I played this a little too quick. So I'm kind of not doing much else. Oh my god, this curve, dude. Stop it. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that this turn. Taking a whack. I don't know if I should be trading the Rust Rod or not. I, th I think it's potentially very good. Not every list runs Doomhammer, of course. It's elementals, but some do. They also just have Wackanole as well, so. Hey, Lavender with a tier one sub. Thank you, Lavender. That's awfully nice. Appreciate it. Auction House Gavel as well. This one seems a little less worth. Probably just gonna go here into here, right? Kill the 2-5. We're getting hammered, so. I'm going to need a big recovery off this. I don't know if we're going to get it. I mean, we're also debuffing a little bit at least, so that's kind of cool. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was promised a big tin drop. I don't think we value trade, right? The 1-1 one -one just contests too easily. Let's just get rid of the most amount of stuff. Yeah, I don't feel great anymore. I think we're going to lose. Feel very dead. I think we got a little too far behind. Oh, man, my throat is really bothering me. Ugh. Double clear. I, I would have just vastly preferred a Scrapyard Colossus, right? It would have cleared all the minions on board, left behind a taunt, denied them a million other plays. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, I mean, I'm technically alive if I Goldshire Knoll right now into the 6-5, but <laughs> doesn't feel great. I don't love it. Oh, big shocker. They had damage? Wow. Who could have guessed? Dungeoneer for Slogger? Uh, what would I have done with it? I would have just died. I didn't have seven mana. I had coin, but we only had five mana. I couldn't coin a four drop. That's seven mana. <laughs> okay. I think if we'd held that first turn with the, the watch post, I might have had a better chance this game. That's, we're learning now already. That's fine. Fear the coming storm. Fear. Yeah. yeah, too slow there. I think we want good early curve as much as possible. Whoa, big heals this time around. Okay. Uh, what? Ford, Ford, did you ask a question or something? What are you talking about? I don't see it. 
How far back was this? Oh, yeah, my throat is really bothering me. Uh, <coughs> uh, what was your question? Who do you think gets better hugs, Dexter or Lieutenant Eddie? Uh, I haven't hugged either one of them. I don't think. Maybe I've hugged Dexter. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't remember that. I've hugged Trump. I know. I I actually might have hugged Eddie. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'd say they're both about the same. I think I give great hugs, and they both give like bony, bony hugs. All I remember about hugging Eddie was all the bone, boning. <laughs> That's all I can remember. It was all the boning that happened. Uh, yeah, I actually do take both. Even though we overload, it makes the Goldshire cheaper sooner, right? I don't think I need to play either of them this next turn. I think we'll be okay to just chill. Maybe just play Feral Spirit or something. Although, I don't know, I would love to... Um, Set up for the Goldshire uh, Revolve. Landslide is not bad right now, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just do this. Next turn, we'll have uh, Goldshire Revolve. Could also actually just go Bog Spine next turn. We're not that low. Yeah, maybe we'll just go Bog Spine and then set up for the uh, Revolve stuff the turn after. Or maybe just tiny toys, actually. Yeah, this is even a good hit. I'd rather hit this, I guess, but it's fine. Do I even hit, though? No, I guess I don't hit. Uh... Well, I don't know. Do I want to be able to kill this next turn, I guess? Or do I want more evolves? I probably need more evolves. Probably have to be swing here. Uh... How am I only at silver 13 days in? <laughs> I mean, I think you can do the math. Uh, we haven't played any standard because I don't enjoy it right now. I have not enjoyed standard this expansion much. Uh, maybe the first week or two I did quite a bit, I guess. But after that, eh, not as much. Not as much. Can I live with tiny toys here? Or am I going to die? Um... Like, do I need to take Slogger, basically? Oh, I'm one card off from going Slogger and Null together. I guess we should try, right? Maybe we'll get a Rush Minion here first. Nope. Oh, this is so good. Oh, man. Taunts! I need taunts! Oh, that's actually sick! Don't hex this! Don't hex this, bro! Don't hex it, bro. This isn't bad either, honestly. I, I don't mind it coming up later. Don't you dare hex this, bro. That's not a hex. That's not a freaking hex. Let's go. <clears throat> this is a nice, meaty six drop, dude. What is that? No, 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 no. Stop that. No. It's still weird math, at least. I'm, like, almost dead, though. Despite it. He's hitting really hard still. Uh, I can use these to recover this turn, though. Right? Like, here, here, hit. That should... I don't know. That might be enough to stabilize. Actually, do I have lethal? 17? I have, like, some almost dunk tank lethals, man. Wouldn't that be wild? Can I afford Goldshire Knoll? I'm going to 14 and clearing the board. Is he overloaded a lot? Yeah, he's overloaded a ton right now. Yeah, we should be fine. More bones to die. I think we'll be fine. No I mean, I said clearing the board, but maybe I'm actually going face? Uh, actually, I think I'll hit one thing and actually go face my weapon. Just hedge a little. I mean, he's going to be at 16. No, he'll be at 13. 
Surely I'll be able to find a lethal next turn, right? Can't go face too risky? I don't think so. I think they're overloaded enough I can. I'm also just hoping to get a taunt. Oh, no taunt. Oh, no. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, they're not overloaded that much. I'm dead. You're right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Those minions suck, dude. I'm dead. You're right. I'm super dead. It is too risky to leave up to. Oh, no. I'm so dead. Oh, my God. I thought they were overloaded more. Oh, God. Oh, did the two even matter? It did. The two did matter. Oh, my God. I just thought for sure I'd get a taunt or a rush minion or something, right? Like, I thought I'd be okay. But I didn't. I, what's crazy is I couldn't even afford to hit that. I had to trade the 8-8 eight eight in. I don't actually think that play was wrong. I think that play was right. I mean, obviously, I don't know. You'd have to break down a lot of math, but that still feels right to me. Like, I couldn't even hit with the weapon. I would have had to lose eight because, like, yes, of course, I would have maybe stayed alive, but I wouldn't have been ending the game the next turn. I would have had to live an extra set of turns. I don't know. I actually think that play was still right. I hedged a little, but still set up plenty of lethal outs. I mean, you could argue the slogger in hand. Oh, my throat is starting to be crazy right now. <clears throat> you could argue the slogger in hand, I guess. Um, but I don't know. Still, shaman outpaces that usually, right? <clears throat> oh, I can barely talk, guys. Throat's hurting bad. Tiny Finn's Caravan. What is my MMR? <laughs> How low has my MMR gotten? Are you serious? What is this? I'm at Tiny Finn's Caravan MMR? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, this can't be good. Okay, that's actually not bad-ish. I mean, got a lot of trade value, right? I think I can live with that. You don't pick the wasps. Uh, yeah, sure. I like my slogger boys. Okay. By the way, all we've played is Shaman. And we're a Shaman. I mean, we're a weird Shaman at least, but we've still only played Shaman. Is this all that exists right now? Is just Shaman? Is Shaman the new Warlock? I haven't played Standard in like three days, so... It's the third straight shaman. I mean, this is a weird shaman versus a weird shaman, at least. <clears throat> so that's cool. Oh, can't talk. Uh, I don't really need more box spines, but it's okay. I can still certainly play one. Gosh, man. Uh, hey, nobody. I'm sorry to hear that news. That's always the absolute worst. I, I'm i happy we gave you a spot to hang out, but wish you the best. Oh. I can't Wild even win a game at Silver 5. <laughs> I mean, guys, everybody's memeing on Silver 5. J just in case anybody thinks that actually matters. Um, don't don't forget that uh, your MMR doesn't actually matter anymore. Fire, 
I mean, your rank doesn't matter anymore. Sorry. Your MMR is all that matters. I said that backwards, but I think you know what I meant. Um, your your rank is irrelevant. I'm, I'm playing people who are 10 star bonus players. He could be legend. He could be bronze 10. He could be diamond 5. He's just 10, MM, 10 bonus star. Until you get through your bonus stars, you're matched up with other bonus star people. Once you get through your bonus stars, you're matched up by rank. But until then, it's irrelevant. Man, what a terrible set of stuff here. I got nothing cool going, man. Where are my good evolve rewards? Okay. This is actually kind of cool. Oh, that's a dead draw, though. I don't have any more weapons. I already have all my weapons, so that's kind of pointless. Uh, Prospector's Caravan with zero, <laughs> with zero minions in hand. Oh, boy. And and speaking of the rank thing, that's why they don't show rank anymore, because it's not relevant. You're just playing your star rank bonus. Rank doesn't matter as the first step towards wild shenanigans full-time <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Wild, wild, wild. Uh. Okay. I don't really want to evolve away that. I think we just dunk tank, right? I dunk tank face? We're getting close to like some lethal setup. So I find Bolner in particular, we're getting close to lethal setup. Next thing. Uh. Okay. Ooh, Pitmaster I like better. Yeah, if I get a Bolner, I have an OTK set up here. I need Bolner, man. Bolner. Bolner. Why even have ranked if it doesn't matter anymore? Well, it does matter. What do you mean? Whoa, what just happened? No. Yasharaj. No. Not my beautiful Yasharaj. I think I leave that alive, right? It's kind of risky that I roll into a taunt. What's up, Mrs. Kilvin? My throat's really sore today. Oh, we're sick. Oh. It's hard to it's hard to uh, talk on stream. Uh. Oh, he hit the taunt. Okay. You can probably revolve for lethal here usually. I should probably still put these in, right? Just in case. Uh Does this do anything? No. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. All good. <laughs> I was like, oh no, we got two rush minions though. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what a weird game. I don't even know anymore. Okay, we won again. We won a game. Uh, no save. Thanks you for the bits. Um, Tales of Arise is fantastic. It looked cool. I just didn't want to spend 60 bucks on a game. I know I won't be able to play that much. I like playing other games, but I hate spending 60 bucks. It's so much money. Like, I want to play Deathloop kind of, but... And it's like, I could probably technically get it for free if I really tried. But, I don't know. I don't want to try and have to track down the right people. And um, I would feel bad about, about it anyway. Like, I'd rather somebody else get the same code, so... I don't know. Just, in other words, the time and energy it takes is too much for what I would get out of it. 
Do I think Mercenaries will reanimate Hearthstone? Uh, no. I don't know that Hearthstone needs reanimation. I don't think that sort of implies it's dead. I think it's obscenely popular, particularly Battlegrounds. But, uh, Mercenaries won't make, like, Standard more popular or anything. Uh, it might make the game more popular. I think, actually, Mercenaries will be a huge hit among uh, mobile gamers. And I think, uh, Blizzard probably isn't super concerned with how, like, Reddit responded to the announcement and stuff, or how many of us responded to the announcement. Like, I'm sure they didn't want us to be disappointed or anything, but at the end of the day, I think we're not ultimately the target market. I don't think PC <coughs> Hearthstone players are where they're really targeting for mercenaries. I think they're targeting the mobile audience, and they'll probably focus on mobile ads and mobile everything for mercenaries. If I had to guess. That would be my strategy, at least. Um... So, yeah, I think it could be big among mobile gamers, much like Raid was and all that other stuff. Although, I don't know, I think I think they're going to have a bit of a hiccup where they're using the same format as Raid and all these other, I mean, it's not just Raid, right? There's a million of these hero grinder games, whatever you call them. Um, they're all using the same format, but the... Hearthstone look and feel, right? Like the two-dimensional Hearthstone look is not going to attract as many people as the like fully realized three-dimensional characters of like Raid or whatever. It, which, you know, Raid doesn't have a great art design or anything necessarily, but it has more modern graphics. I actually think it looks worse in a lot of ways, right? Like I personally prefer the two-dimensional high-quality art and stuff and art design direction of our stuff but a lot of people will say like oh this game looks really basic compared to like raid or marvel strike force or whatever it is right that, that has a more modern uh look and i say mo you know i put that in quotations and because it's like it's not really modern it's just more advanced looking or something right but again yeah le less charming i would say but they're you know, but again, it's a different audience. It's it's a mobile audience. They might think the graphics of Raid or whatever are really cool, unlike us. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I do think a lot of the things that make Hearthstone really appealing though aren't as appealing on the phone, for my taste anyway. I do extra damage or just clear? Probably just clear, right? We're setting up for the big hit next turn here, so. Ooh, I like these minions. Good minions, okay. <clears throat> uh, so in other words, like the, uh, like hi very highly detailed arts don't read as well on phones, right? Like they read well on a big screen where you can see all the details of the art and stuff. Uh, audio doesn't do as well on phone, and Harson has fantastic audio design. Both gameplay and, like, character voices and stuff, but a lot of people don't even listen to audio when they're playing games on the phone. Because they don't either have headphones or just they're at home on the toilet or something and don't want a, want a loud game going off. So, I don't know. A lot of the things... Oh, that really disrupts me, actually. Shoot, that sucks. I think we'll have to hold. I really want to hit this, right? So anyway, I, I don't know. In other words, I, Mercenaries has opportunity, but I think it also has some challenges. But, you know, Blizzard has way more uh, insight into the stuff than I do. Market research and people who study this stuff, and it's literally their whole job. So they're definitely uh, better equipped to enter into this conversation and stuff than I am. No doubt about that. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we get. It's time to go. Oh. Wow. Uh, so I like this. I'm just wondering, do I value a six drop on board more or do I actually value clearing that three two more? Or even stranger conversation, do I leave up the Raz? <laughs> this is a good set of minions though, regardless. Um... 
Some people are going to say this is wrong, but I think I like this better. Very debatable, of course. Oh, nice minions, too. My thought was a random six drop is probably not better than just clearing his three, two. Or, you know, it, it, it's, it's better on average, let's say, but leaving the minion up has some risk against Priest, right? I'm trying at all costs to preserve my health total, so. Let's just do it this way. If I'd known for sure I was going to get a taunt, like, yeah, okay, maybe I could have left it up, right? But of course, we didn't know that for sure. In fact, we didn't know that at all. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, we're just going to trade right back there. and That's that's tough. I think you got us in that phase and just wait. I think they were losing super hard, so can't begrudgingly concede, but I don't think you'd give me that trade back. If I play Revolve, will Spell Burst go off? No, Spell Burst resolves after spells have resolved, right? So uh, the minion would be gone after the spell resolved. There would be no Spell Burst left, I think. If Spellburst was whenever, that would be cool. But it's after. Okay, this is a good hand. Um, Noel makes a lot of sense when we can refill with... Oh, both of these cards actually refill nicely. And, and Dungeoneer sets up Noel really well. Yeah, I gotta say, this like Noel Dungeoneer is really good together. A lot of these cards, you can still tempo, but keep your hand sort of full. And this like really fills it up. And then of course, Revolve's a great payoff here. This deck does a lot of things that make a ton of sense. Shouldn't need this against Mage, right? So let's look for better cards. Bolmer, marginally better, I guess. It's a cool deck. Okay, I need uh, a payoff for this Evolve stuff, which, I mean, this certainly is, but we gotta line it up right. You don't want to play Noel ahead of time, then. Should Spellburst trigger if you Evolve into a Spellburst minion? I, I think the Spellburst minion has to see both the beginning and end of the spell. I don't think I don't think it would work if you uh, Revolved into a Spellburst minion. I, th I think it needs to see both the, the start and the finish, if that makes sense. What's the high roll for Bolner? Uh, Bolner is like kind of a backup plan in the stack. If you need an OTK, Bolner can actually get it. Uh, fire. Might want to play a uh, fire sale next turn. So this might actually be worth. But if I want to go here. I just don't, I don't know. This is off curve, right? So it feels a little weird. I kind of like Bolner into Neophyte later, because I can get double basically. I don't. I won't need the OTK probably, right? Oh man, we have a lot of it though. Well, I guess we need Yashiraj. I don't know. Playing around fire is just not that valuable, right? They have so many easy ways to get fire done, like that. I'd rather just uh, time the Neophyte for probably a better moment. I think. Okay. Wouldn't mind a revolve here so I can get like a good goldshire before having to deal with a bog spine. Because otherwise it's going to be hard to get them down together. First flame. Frost. This might actually be a decent turn to Bolner. Just to set up into the box spine. God, I could actually Goldshire Bolner Colt, right? And, and Bolner Colt does make it cost two extra, right? I'm not crazy. Bolner triggers itself, basically. Because it'll be the first battle cry played, right? I'm not wrong, am I? So I'll basically get double Neophyte, hopefully lock out their turn, or at least protect most of this board. I mean, they might still be able to kill the Knoll with like, I don't know though, everything's three, like even a first flame is three mana. 
be really hard. Rune Orb is four. Assuming this works like I think it does. So then I go Bog Spine. This is like a mini Lotheb, basically. Then I go Bog Spine, of course, on all this stuff and go to town. I wonder. I wonder. So that's the second flame they're hovering, right? That's three mana and ping. It's like you kill the two, three or the neophyte. Yeah, okay. This is a flurry. Oh, that's actually okay. Cause I still get to evolve, right? I lose five damage, which sucks, but I think more importantly, I get to evolve these. Uh, actually, are there any crazy Bolner shenanigans right now? Well, I guess I don't have another Neophyte, so no. Could go Dungeoneer and draw like a million cards. Uh, actually, not even that many. It would be like Lightning Blooms, mostly. I think we're better off just evolving our Tin Drop, right? Be some good. Oh, wow. Extra damage. This is a mega high roll. But this, of course, is a high roll as well. Wow. Okay. I can live with that. Not bad. Uh, we got Dunk Tank damage in hand, too. Yeah, we're getting there, man. That was, that was sick. <laughs> this is like a mega eye roll. One of the only charge minions in the game. Uh, of course, it's not good moving forward, really, but this is so awkward to deal with. You pretty much have to freeze this again, I think, to, to get any exciting results. <coughs> Shame that Freeze hit the 5-4, though. We would have loved that extra damage. Because this will be a race for sure. Solarian. Fireball on the Blade Master. Cool with that. It makes sense not to hit the 7-7 uh, seven, seven over here. Because, oh, especially makes sense not to. Jeez. Okay. Uh, maybe just dunk tank attack here. Maybe just totem. Uh, could go canal slogger as well, but I feel like I actually want to get some healing value out of that, right? Dunk tank clears, but it reduces my evolve value. Could just go like rust rot. Far watch post meeting stone to maximize evolve value. But I don't know. It doesn't seem that good. Ugh, these freezes, dude. I could also just wait. Yeah, th there's another another logical just don't attack because I have a Colossus on board, right? So there's like a few angles to go here. I, I think I'm just gonna dunk tank hero power. Or maybe far watch post. I think I like holding the attack. Just put in the far watch to disrupt a little. Just hold. Because this is so awkward to deal with. I'm in no real hurry at the moment. I think I like this best. Uh, we have Yashiraj, which won't have the Bolner OTK possibilities, but it's just going to have a dunk tank in it, which is at some level going to be awesome, I think. What is that now? Snap freeze again. Oh my god, they are a pro at freezing. Oh, there's Yashira. Speak of the devil. Okay. Interesting. So we have six here. Could probably leave this alive. It's always a little risky, obviously, but... Can probably leave it alive. Uh, seven. Puts them at nine. This would always give me at least another four. If I wait to corrupt this, I could get more, but how am I going to corrupt it? I don't have anything to corrupt it yet. So do I just ship it face now to spin the mana? You know? Because, not, I mean, there's nothing to corrupt it. I'm just going to ship it face now. I'm not quite there on damage is the only problem. I kind of hate that I'm not there on damage. I just don't want to use my weapon yet. 
And I also don't want this game to go too long. So, I don't know. Maybe I should use weapon and just do this, but I like this card too much. Scrapyard's got a great chance of protecting me against this if I'm not dead. Oh my god, don't be dead, please. This is all fine. I can heal for, for 12 next turn, right? Actually not super worried about a little bit of chip damage face. How to get rid of the watch post first. Put the ignite back in. That makes sense, but they just don't have any cheap cards because there's no... There's no encanter slow, right? So... Oh, that's really good, though. But it still leaves up the scrapyard, right? Oh, did they just... Oh, why was I thinking that was going off? They're trading it. What am I... <laughs> it's not going off. What am I, an idiot? <laughs> They were playing it. They only had one mana left. No discounts. They're just trading. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. This actually worked out really well. That cane lived for a long time too. Weirdly, that was cool. That's a good win. Good win. I think. I think honestly, that turn with the Bolner Colt Neophyte was was what got us there. That was a cool turn. Ragnaros versus Khadgar. Ooh, I like this. Build a hand, gold charnel. I mean, it's mage again, though, so I don't know. This stuff's not that good. First flames just murder half my board. But we gotta try. Yeah, this is such a cool deck. Everything adds stuff to your hand for this, right? Like, every card adds stuff to your hand almost. Not every, literally, but a lot. Most cards. Many cards. No coin flame, okay. Probably play this so that we don't naturally draw the other knuckles and kill the card, right? Ooh, lifesteal, okay. Wandmaker's great on curve. Hey, Steven AOS, thanks, man. Nice. Do we tempo the 3 4? No. Trading might be more valuable. I need a revolve later or now. I mean, I won't use it now, but I need it now. Uh. Yeah. Just gonna play this. I guess they have coin fire sale. Am I that upset if they coined Fire Sale, though? Not, like, heartbroken about it, I don't think. I don't, I don't love it, obviously, but I'm not heartbroken. The Overload's almost more concerning, really, because I don't have a lot of options next turn. Just Tempo Rust Rod or something. Okay, no Fire Sale. Bloom, oh my. I can go Bloom Bog Spine here. It's actually probably pretty good, isn't it? Just to get some damage moving and get these weapons flowing. The wand picks you. With a spirit. Just get bigger minions too to maybe survive removal. Just more pressure, more stuff, more plays. Oh, interesting. I do have some nature spells. <laughs> I don't have any right now. But I do have some nature spells, Mr. Guff. Please live, Mr. Guff. Hey, Mello, thanks for the prime sub, dude. Uh, yes, this is the Chinese legend number one Evolve Shaman, yeah. Oh my god, Guff's alive. Give me another bloom, please. Bloom, please. Bloom. Bloom. Bolner. Good old Bolner. Uh, do I hold this weapon attack or just go? I don't know yet. I obviously have another one, but it's going to be kind of a dead turn. I think I still go. 
I, of course, wish I had better payoffs, but I don't. I mean, like, I could go for this next turn, right? If I do hold. Play like this and this, or this and this, whatever, right? Oh, no, it'll be five mana, so I can't play both. Uh, like, if I get exact, exactly Scrapyard... Like, yeah, of course, I'd play for the Knoll, but that's not really that likely. A lot of tin drops and mates just kind of die. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> what a pair. <laughs> I mean, this always dies first, so it's not really that big of a pair, but still, what a pair. Wow. What a roll there. That's wild, dude. That's wild. By purge, be fired. That's what happened to the guy who uh, messed up on the movie side of the purge. Okay, freezes again, sure. Um, Do I even take an attack here? I think not, right? I think I chill. Could also just go wide, but I kind of break this guy. I think I just chill though. It's a pretty good minion. And then I set up for this next turn better. But this is a very annoying minion to deal with as it currently stands at eight health. <laughs> Fireball face, I love it. He cannot give it to you Zero he fear. Good play, However, I think. In doing so, he lets you down, uh, thus guess. creating the Astley paradox. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Uh, flurry again. Okay, great, dude. If Mage just didn't have flurry, this deck would destroy them. Kind of already does, but. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't mess this up, bro. Don't mess this up for us, Regis. We like hero power better or sneaky adventurer better? I think I actually maybe just like hero power better, huh? Doesn't change much, really, stat wise, like a little, of course, but. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about with the 10 drops, right? Like, this sucks. Mage just deals with this so easily. That's why I didn't want to go too hard into that line where I, like, really push that guy. Like, yes, again, if it was Scrap Your Colossus, obviously worth, but. Yag, not worth. Hopefully it lives and I can revolve it, but it doesn't seem likely, does it? This might actually be very annoying for Mage. I don't know. They can't easily freeze it or something. Or devolve or whatever. Oh, no way, Inara. Oh. So good. <laughs> Just free damage. Ugh. God, that's so good. That's really frustrating, honestly. It's <laughs> so good. Ugh. Uh, Tiny Toys is good for us. Okay. <sighs> All right. Uh, we're going to see if we need to revolve or not, right? So I'm not going to play a two drop. Because I may need to revolve that Anara if I don't get like a rush minion or something. So we're just gonna have to have to figure it out. Oh, I don't think we revolve that. Okay. This is kind of a liability though. Eek. But these are all really good stats. Oh, I maybe mean, should have put this two three between the, the two eight drops for Kona Cold or something. You know? Split split across these right now. It's not really protecting for going to gold because these are the three prime minions you'd freeze uh, Okay Not that Kona Cold's common just a possibility right they can they can make stuff so Here's the Kona Cold naturally. I, I jinxed it. So Welcome Kona Cold <laughs> Immediate cone of gold incoming <laughs> Do they play Dongrasp here? Like, do you have enough left to do if you play Dongrasp? Are you just dead, right? Uh, that's just a barrier, I guess. Is that enough? I have so much board. Wait, you have to freeze here, right? First flame's not enough. 
Oh, they're just super dead, right? What on earth? Super dead. Okay. Cool. That was sick rolls, dude. We got two eight attack minions off six drops. That's really cool. Okay, this deck is kind of murdering mage. It doesn't even seem like it should be good, but we're just murdering. Man. And we've won five games of Hearthstone's traditional ranked mode. <laughs> or is it traditional Hearthstone's ranked mode? I don't know. I can't keep track. All right, guys, I think this will be my last game of the day. I got to run here shortly. We got to go do some stuff today. Those duels runs took way longer than I expected. And I don't feel very good, so I thought I'd feel better today, but not quite. Uh, okay, Paladin, huh? I don't Mage even know what we play against Paladin. It is like tier three Probably not Colt Neophyte. Maybe Tiny Toys we keep? It seems a little greedy, but if I have Curve in the, in the meantime... I mean, most of our deck's gonna fill in the gaps, right? So having that like late game swing seems like a valuable way to go. Valuable way to go. The light dims, but we fight. Meetings don't like, yeah. Might actually be awkward if there's no if there's no dude. <laughs> Mage is pretty bad. I uh, I didn't say Mage was good. I just said I'm surprised this deck is beating Mage. It doesn't feel like we'd be that good against Mage because, uh, I don't know. Like we're minion based. They lock down our minions. We don't have a ton of life gain. I guess we have Canal Sloggers, but not a lot. We just don't have as much pressure as like a Quest Shaman where they can really go to town. Uh, like like in other words, we build our pressure in the mid game, and by then Mage is usually already well off to the races. As opposed to like getting it rolling early and chipping them down. It just seems like a bad matchup, but uh, but maybe not. We're winning a lot, so maybe not a bad matchup. Oh, hand. No, BM. He had to load up the stream real quick. <laughs> I always say that jokingly, but eh, sometimes I wonder. <laughs> sometimes I do wonder. Uh... What deck would y'all recommend for a returning player on a 6k dust budget? I don't know. I don't know budgets very well, but I, I would also maybe think about waiting. I, I'd say we're not too far out from the mini set hitting. Uh, usually the mini set comes like two months after release or about a month and a couple weeks after release almost. So we might be like a couple weeks away from the mini set, which might change the meta. If you can wait a couple weeks. Although, I don't know, I'm I'm wondering if maybe the mini set will come out simultaneously to Mercenaries, which I think they said was October 12th. So maybe that would be delayed. A couple things we don't know yet. Hard to say, in other words. Man, I could go Tiny Toys right now, but if I had a Revolve, I think I would do it. <laughs> I was hoping this would be a Revolve for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> is this the only overload card in the deck we've drawn it every time off that uh yeah oh well lightning bloom i guess yeah two of them okay all righty we're definitely losing board here a little but i don't all the same i don't i don't feel all that stressed about it i guess i think i go Coin bog spine here, and then we set up for the tiny toys to turn after with bloom. Right? I don't know. Here's to the mini set being something like destroy your opponent's quest. Yeah, there's just there's like five cards that I'll say destroy your opponent's quest. Mm. <laughs> We took a big pivot in this mini set. We took some real risks. Destroy your opponent's quest line. Remove it from their collection, right? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so that guy's gonna be three mana next turn. I won't be able to tiny toys and play this guy if I go for bog spine now. But I think it's still worth it for the for the bog spine now. Okay. Scratch that. I got a pounce instead. Okay. 
That actually feels pretty bad. <laughs> uh, this is not a great trade, but it is what it is. I don't know. Maybe this is bad because of the overload, right? Now I have to bog spine with Bloom if I want to bog spine, which means I can't tiny toys to turn out because there's only a four mana. So now I'm going to have to go like Goldshire Knoll. Yeah, I don't know. This kind of all fell apart now. I think I have to take a downturn for a second. Goldshire's just really bad at trading here. Yeah, I think we'll just kind of reset here. Take a downturn. This is really spooky, though. Flames. And this just keeps getting worse and worse, right? I just wish this had any good trade. Or I wish I had a revolve. I don't think I just go tiny toys, right? That's too susceptible. I think we legit just take a really bad turn. I'm gonna play this to keep this cheaper as opposed to this, which doesn't make it cheaper. Yeah, we just have a bad turn. I don't know. That that oh my god really really disrupted our curve. I think I could have played the Pogs by in a turn earlier than I planned to. That might have fixed our curve up a little. Still don't know though. Still feels pretty bad. So can I go Goldshire Box Bind here? That's gonna be eight mana and I'll be able to make eight mana. Yeah, I can. That's probably worth actually. I'll go Goldshire into the two five. And then uh, Bloom the Box Bind. It's pretty good. I don't get to do the um, the tiny toys next turn, but I get a big tin drop here, which I think I like. Um, I could still play two minions next turn and and evolve, or if I hit Bloom, I can still go tiny toys. That'd be sick. Might just hold the weapon though, right? Hopefully, he feels compelled to trade a little and doesn't just go face. I mean, I guess if he does go face, we could try to race. How much damage are we looking at, really? 8, 10, 12? Mm, I don't think I can totally race, though. Yeah. On the side of my face. I, got Let's do this. I mean, like, I hit for 10, he's still at 20. I'd have, like, 13 next turn. Like, I'd still be short 7. I don't think that works. I think I gotta just tempo a little bit here. Uh, there are definitely weapon possibilities, but I think the 3-4 here is worth more. And I'm gonna just hold for Tiny Toys next turn, basically. I could trade this to try to hit something, like, you know slightly better but i think i just like playing the better thing right now helps me trade a little more he might feel compelled to kill the 10 six now because he's got a pretty good trade on it um i actually need a revolve to kill whatever this hand buff is right something's gonna be enormous here so i might need a revolve for that if tiny toys can't like tank through it or whatever that is very large i need Revolve, please. Reporting for duty. Revolve, please. I'm actually a god. <laughs> okay. Um, I still use weapon, right? And then take a reroll as needed. Well, I guess I'm always... Always revolving, right? So I should revolve first. Oh my. I should just revolve first and then take a roll because I may get like rush minions or something. I don't actually know. Let's just see. But it makes this attack better, right? Oh, baby. Hello. Okay. That's a little scary. It's big, but ultimately not that big. Uh. Hopefully we get good stuff again. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not great. 
Like he's got nine damage too now. Oh, I went too soon on the revolve. I thought, oh my God, there was way more stats than I realized. Oh, I screwed up guys. <laughs> oh guys. I thought that there, I thought he played the stats already. Oh crap, I really did not account for this guy. Um. <laughs> I'm dead, guys. What do you think? <laughs> okay, whatever. I gotta go. I don't care. That's pretty funny. Did he really get that many buffs? I guess I wasn't paying attention to how many. It seems like that it was too many. That's not bugged anymore where you get the stuff in, in deck, right? I don't know. I gotta go, though. I gotta drop a raid. Let me drop a raid real quick. I'll see you guys uh, back tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, I was actually going to play Battlegrounds today, but we'll figure it out real quick. I'll see you guys uh -oh. uh, back tomorrow. Hopefully. Oh, God, I have a loop. We'll play Battlegrounds tomorrow, probably. I'm going to kick off the Battlegrounds video series. But we'll, I guess I ran out of time today, so we'll do that tomorrow. Not at the beginning. We'll start off with regular stuff and then switch to Battlegrounds. Alrighty. Uh...